Sam has every dribble, squish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hill. Basketball here in the second round of the Western Athletic Conference Tournament. A pleasant good evening. I'm Rob Pip, your play-by-play -play announcer, as we are about 11 minutes to go before we get things underway. And here in just a few moments, we'll have our country's national anthem to get started. Sam Houston, the fifth seed, battling the four seed in the Grand Canyon Lopes. We are set for a good one today after Sam Houston coming off that commanding victory last night over California Baptist. Let's go down now, though, for our country's national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars? of our country's national anthem. Again, we are live here at Orleans Arena. It is the second round of the Western Athletic Conference playoffs. I mentioned earlier as Sam Houston coming off of that commanding victory over California Baptist to open the WAG tournament for the Bearcats. They came out clicking on all cylinders. They blew past California Baptist 65 to 35 in the first round of the tournament last night. The Bearcats now 19 and 13 advance to the second round here tonight where they're facing Grand Canyon for the third time this season. Sam Houston took care of the Antelopes 58 to 56 in Huntsville back on January the 22nd, but Grand Canyon won 67 to 41 in Phoenix on February the 26th. So uh, both teams right now out practicing just a little bit earlier. We'll go ahead and step aside for 60 seconds. We'll be back. Stay with us from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat em up, cats. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. Back at it, friends, from Orleans Arena. This is Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston Men's Basketball. About seven and a half minutes until we get things underway in the opening frame. A little bit earlier, I had a chance to catch up with Sam Houston Men's Basketball head coach Jason Newton. We'll play that interview now. 
Houston men's basketball head coach Jason Hooten here in the second round of the Western Athletic Conference tournament in Las Vegas today facing uh, Grand Canyon. But quickly going back against California Baptist coach, man, you guys came out so hot, shooting very well in that ball game, holding that team to only 35 points in the game. Savion Flagg had a, another double-double, his ninth of the season. Just talk a little bit about that. Just the shooting seemed to be on fire. The defense played well. Just your thoughts on that first round. Yeah, we got off to a good start, uh, made some shots early, which I thought gave us a lot of confidence and a lot of energy. And then it, you know, carried over into the defensive side. And, you know, I just thought our guys played a really good, uh, you know, complete game. And everybody came off the bench, gave us a lot of a lot of energy and a lot of firepower. And, and um, you know, it was, still, it was a really good day for us. And, you know, our guys were really locked in, and we need to be locked in just like that again today. Coach, I know you always play for the top seeds to get a few buys under your belt, but do you think maybe in this tournament this has played to y'all's advantage a little bit getting out there and, and getting some earlier games to play? Yeah, I mean, we got a buy. Obviously, we got a first-round buy. Um, you know, would have liked to have had two buys and finished in that top four. But, you know, um, you, you know, a lot of leagues are very competitive in this one. You know, you had a three-way tie for first and a two-way tie for second. And, you know, we ended up – on the wrong side there and ended up with the fifth seed but you know you just take advantage of what you've been given and you know I thought our guys you know understood that coming in that we got to win four games in four days and you know we got one down and three to go today facing the four seed Grand Canyon Lopes a team that's riding in on a four game winning streak split the season series with them uh, this is a team that leads the whack and points allowed also the top field goal percentage defense team uh, just how, what are your thoughts heading into this game and really try to how do you work to score on these guys yeah that's a good question uh, they have a really good defense you know we beat them at our place I believe 58 56 and it was a really good game close tight game and you know scoring on them is really it's really hard uh, they've got a, a a big athletic long team and then they're very well coached and um, you know we, we're going to have to do a few things differently than we did last time to get you know we missed some easy shots and we missed some layups but we got to get a few better looks this time and have to do a little bit better job of screening I thought you know we missed a lot of bodies so we got to do a good job of screening off and on the ball both and that leads us into coach Hooten's keys to the game presented by Emblem Properties Real Estate coach you may have mentioned some of them but your keys to victory tonight uh, I think the number one thing that we have to do today is we got to eliminate their easy baskets and get back in transition you know they really do a good job of pushing up the floor they've got three guards that are super dynamic with the ball in their hand so we got to do a good job of getting back and stopping that ball um, I think the second thing that'll be important today is contesting threes like last night uh, this is a team that you know when they make threes they're really good offensively and so you know we've got to do a good job and you know and, and then I think the third one the third key today is just again better execution on offense we've got to screen better we've got to run our sets better uh, I was excited and pleased with our execution last night and we're going to have to do that again you know less than 24 hours we're gonna have to do that again well, the keys of the game brought to you by Emblem Properties Real Estate who offers a customer service difference where our clients are number one coaches always appreciate your time good luck and eat them up cats eat them up cats this wraps up our pregame with head coach Jason Newton we'll have more analysis looking into this one when we come back from Van Wagner this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network Sam Houston Athletic would like to thank the following partners, The Grove, Tuck Shirts, and Eagle Graphic, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. 
Back at it, friends, about two minutes and 30 seconds until we get things started in the first half of play. Again, it's Sam Houston men's basketball battling, Calum, battling Grand Canyon University here today. And boy, as I look around, I was just telling Sports Information Director Jason Barfield is sitting to my left. This is a packed house, at least around the lower bowl. A lot of purple here. Grand Canyon, of course, we've played at their arena. We know that it's a madhouse there. They have almost 6,000 in each game and they have brought a full house with them here. We do see some glimpses of orange out there, and those Bearcat fans that have showed up are gonna have to be loud and proud today against this very tough and rowdy Grand Canyon Lopes team. Well, Grand Canyon Lopes 22 and seven overall, 13 and five in the Western Athletic Conference under head coach Bryce Drew, of course, the coach of the brother of coach Scott Drew over at Baylor University, the most recent NCAA champions. This is his second season for Bryce Drew at Grand Canyon. 39 and 14 with the Lopes 10th overall season coaching 203 wins 122 losses Sam Houston 19 and 13 overall 13 and 5 finishing getting that fifth seed in the Western Athletic Conference under head coach Jason Newton in his 12th head coaching season with the Bearcats 235 wins and 160 losses Grand Canyon will go over their starting lineup tonight they will start with the six foot four 210 pound senior guard out of Toronto Ontario in Oregon State transfer, it's number zero, Sean Miller-Moore. A 5'11", 165 sophomore guard out of Oakland, California. And Shadow Mountain transfer, number 10, Javon Blackshear Jr. A 6'1", 190-pound senior guard out of Phoenix, Arizona. The transfer from Arizona State, it's number 11, Holland Woods II. A 6'9", 255-pound sophomore forward out of Bordeaux, France. The transfer from Nebraska, number 24, Ivan Woodrogo. And last but certainly not least for the Lopes of Grand Canyon, 6'7", 230-pound redshirt sophomore of Gilbert, Arizona, Southeast Missouri State transfer. It's number 30, Clay Gabe McLaughlin. Again, Miller Moore, Blackshirt Jr., Woods, Woodrogo, and McLaughlin. And here is your Sam Houston Bearcats starting lineup for tonight. Around jumper here, Tristan Ikpe starting early, and the Bearcats take a two-point advantage. Find Lampley from the corner, weaving through traffic. The jumper, the two-shot, the yes, there it is. So Marcus Lampley for two. Turn on the light. Over to Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby. It's Jaron Cook, and the Bearcats are on fire here in the first half. He pulls it back down, though. Oh, what a play by Javion May as he hauled in aggressively the offensive rebound and dropped it back in off the right side of the glass. Dante Powers, zing, zang, bang, there it is for two. Oh, call dancing with the stars. We got a new celebrity on the court. It's Dante Powers. Hey, saying I can dance just as good as you guys on TV. I do it on the basketball court. At guard, a six foot seven, 215 pound grad senior from Texas A&M University, number one Savion Flag. At guard, a six foot two, 195 pound junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, I'm Javion May. At forward, a six foot six, 225 pound senior from Deer Park, Texas, number 12, I'm Tristan Ebay. At guard, a five foot 10, 165 pound junior from Midwest City, Oklahoma, number 13, I'm Jaden Ray. At guard, a six two, 175 pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama, number three, I'm lighting up the market. Lampley. Once again for your Bearcats is the Texas A&M graduate transfer Savion Flag, Demarcus Lampley, Javion May, Tristan Ipe, and Jaden Ray. Bearcats coming off of that well good performance against California Baptist in the first round of the playoffs in that 65 to 35 victory where the Bearcats held California Baptist last night to only 24 and a half percent from the field and also three of 26 at 11.5 percent from the three-point line. It was one of the best defensive performances that we've seen by Sam Houston in a tournament play, taking care of business against a team that is a very tough and capable. They'll go up against California Baptist tonight. It's a, or a bigger part against Grand Canyon tonight. Grand Canyon leads the WAC in points allowed at 60.6. They also lead the Western Athletic Conference in field goal percentage defense, holding their opponents to just 38%. That also is good enough to rank them number six in the nation. So as we heard on those Emblem Properties real estate keys to victory, Coach Hooten said they've got to eliminate the transition, the easy basket, guard that transition. The Bearcats also have to contest threes like they did versus California Baptist last night. And then also the offense really has to execute against this very tough Grand Canyon Lopes team. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment with tip-off from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network.
You might know that State Farm agent Diana A. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rate today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm there. Individual premiums will vary by customer, all applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Back at it, friends. Moments away from tip-off as Sam Houston here in the second round of the fifth seed against the fourth seed, Grand Canyon Lopes. will pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 0.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville. You're listening to the Bearcats Sports Network. Moments away from tip-off against Sam Houston in their orange jerseys and orange shorts with the triangles to each side of the short leg in gray and white. Sammy the floating head Bearcat logo on the right side of the pant legs, also the left side, the underarm logo on the left. Sam Houston written in the italicized font in white across the front of the jerseys. Numbers in white outlined in gray. Also the Sammy Bearcat claw on the back of those jerseys, the WAC emblem there on the left shoulder for Grand Canyon in their white jerseys, white shorts, trimmed in purple. Nike the Swoosh logo on the front part of those shorts on the left side. GCU written across the front in purple. The names of the players on back in purple. Right below that, the numbers. And they have the WAC emblem on the left side of the shoulders. The Nike to the right. And here we go. We are underway. McLaughlin controls the opening tip as it goes into the backcourt. We'll move from left to right. And we're underway here in the second round of the Western Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament. Here on the right side, McLaughlin has it. Pass goes up high to Woodrogo. Woodrogo guarded by Epe. Back over to Woods. Woods moves inside from the top of the three. Now the jumper here just outside the paint. This ball batted around, goes out of bounds, and it'll go right to the Bearcats here for their first possession to open here tonight. Up there on the court, Savion Flag inbounding to Jaden Ray. We call him Rocket Man. He is so fast, made an immediate impact on this team. Coming in for Bryce Monroe, who transferred back to San Diego as Ray has it inside the paint. Jumper with the right hand. Good, and the Bearcats on the board first here, leading 2-0. 19-20 to go on the Miller Time game clock. Bring it into the front court is Javon Blackshirt. Blackshirt passing quickly back up over to McLaughlin. McLaughlin near that left wing. Back up top to Blackshirt. Jaden Ray guarding him. High screen as this pass goes back over to Miller Moore. Miller Moore near the right baseline. Backing down. It's an offensive foul. Javion May had his feet set, and he got slammed to the ground. And the Bearcats here, another opportunity leading 2-0. to zero. It's the first foul. It will go against Grand Canyon. A little bit too aggressive down there by... Miller Moore picking up his first personal, again, the first team foul. Sam Houston moves here from right to left. Jaden Ray has it on the left wing, just below the Orleans logo. Back up top over to Tristan Epe, a couple of dribbles with the right hand, finds Lampley. Here's a jumper from the free throw line, too short. Actually a little too strong as it went off the bottom left corner of the square. Here's a slam back the other way. That was easy there for Ivan Woodrow go. Don't want to get him started, Woodrow go. Only averages four points a game, but he a good player down there shooting 46% on the season. Plays in 20 minutes per game. We're tied up to a piece. 18-24 to go here in the first. Jaden Ray has it back for Sam Houston at the top of the three. Rotating back over the left wing. Back up top to Lampley. Lampley swings it from his right hip over to Ipe. Ipe trying to battle here. Goes left wing to Lampley. Lampley swing it back over to Ipe. Down to three on the shot clock. Ipe turn around from inside the circle. Puts it up with one. Good at the buzzer. How about that for Tristan Ipe? The fancy footwork dancing with the stars. And the Bearcats have a 4-2 advantage. 17-58 to go here in the first. Grand Canyon, the Lopes have it back on the right side. Miller Moore trying to work against May. Quick pass goes over to McLaughlin, and we've got to travel. It's another turnover by the Lopes, and Sam Houston will have it right back. And friends, I want to remind you this game made possible in part tonight by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Savion Flag will inbound just in front of his own bench. We're across from the scores table. Jaden Ray now has it on his side of the court on the left side of the right wing. Blackshirt guarding him. Bounce pass goes down to Savion Flag. Trying to back down to the Fender Miller Moore. Turn around, jumper is short. May have been a hand on it. 
And the ball falls into Woodrigo's hands. Now on the near side, from left to right, pass goes to Woods. Woods working off a high screen from Woodrigo. Back pedals back over the top of the three. Left wing pass to Blackshire. Blackshire trying to go down low, and this one is knocked out of bounds by Sam Houston. Good defense down there by the Bearcats. With 18 on the shot clock, it'll stay with Grand Canyon. Again, Sam Houston leads 4-2. to two. Just out of the gate here, 17.20 to go. I want to welcome you into the broadcast. Those of you joining us on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network, also in the booth, we welcome you in here tonight from Las Vegas. Lopes inbounding, pass goes over to Blackshire. Actually, it is Woods. Woods inside the paint, flip, dip, good. Boy, a little bit too easy there as he found the lane, dropped that one in, and a little easy bake oven to tie it at four apiece. 17.09 here in the first. Jaden Ray will waltz his way into the front court from right to left. Just in front of the Hercules Tires WAC logo. Over to Savion Flag. Back to Ray at the top of the three. High screen, Ipe. Ray putting on some moves. Finds Ipe. Flip it, dip it. Good for Tristan Ipe. A little bit of ice cream with the sprinkles on top as the Bearcats take the 6-4 advantage. 16.46 to go. Lopes back with it here in the first half. On the right side, Miller Moore. Quick pass goes over to Blackshire. Rotating back to the top. A little hot potato action over to the right wing. It's Woods. Tristan Ipe picks him up, now retreats back. Woods almost loses the handle, holds on to it, goes to Blackshear. Down to eight on the shot clock from the right wing. Behind the back dribble to his left hand, inside the paint, flips this one up. That shot too strong, high up into the air, and ripping it down with his big Bearcat claws is Sevion Flag. Sam Houston leads by two, six to four, 16, 17 to go. On the Miller time game clock here in the first, and Jaden Ray has it back on the left side. Couple of left-handed dribbles, loses his handle there, turns it over, and here comes Miller Moore, one-on-one mismatch. Sipping his way inside, it's a blocking foul against Jaden Ray. Ray was trying to take the charge. I believe he was just inside that semicircle. And Jaden Ray will pick up his first personal foul, the first team foul by the Bearcats. 16.05 to go here in the first. That one in the act of shooting, so that will send Sean Miller Moore, the six foot five sophomore guard to the line. He's a 60% free throw shooter, 30 of 50 on the season. He has played and started in 28 games, averages eight points a game. As he'll take a very deep breath, bends his knees, right-handed, first free throw, no good. Chance McMillan will check in for the Lopes as Javon Blackshire will head over to the bench. Chance McMillan, six foot two freshman guard, averages six points a game, also plays in 18 minutes per game. Once again, back here on the right side, Miller Moore missed the first free throw. He'll take another deep breath, one dribble, right-handed free throw on the second attempt, it's good. He'll split the pair. Brings it back to a one-point advantage for Sam Houston. Six to five, four minutes gone here in the first. Jaden Ray all alone in the backcourt, now to the front court. Chest pass goes to Javion May, quickly over to Ipe up top. Ipe fires one to Jaden Ray near the left baseline. Over to Savion Flag for three. This one rims in and out. It was halfway down the cylinder and popped out for the Texas A&M graduate transfer. Opportunity here for Grand Canyon to take their first lead of the night. Moving in over to McMillan on the right wing in his purple shoes. Left wing three, this one on the way, splashed it. Right there for Gabe McLaughlin. He's a 33% three-point shooter and absolutely nailed that one as he had plenty of room. It's an eight to two Lopes advantage, or eight to six rather. 15.52 to go, Jaden Ray over to Lampley at the top. Lampley holding the ball in his right hip, now crosses back over to his left from the left elbow, finds Ipe. Ipe battling, flips one up, too strong, gets his own rebound, finds Savion Flag over the head pass, back to Lampley. Lampley slicing, dicing, flipping, good! How about that for Demarcus Lampley? A nice teardrop inside the paint, and the Bearcats have tied it at eight apiece, 14, 59 to go here in the first. Back over to the right side, McMillan working a dribble here, he'll pass this one over the left wing, Miller Moore back up top, McLaughlin, who hit that three just moments ago. Here's Woods now. Woods has it on the right wing. A little trade off on defense. A Savion flag guarding him, trying to step back, draw a foul. He didn't do it. And Jaden Ray almost had the steal, and it went off of his right elbow. Good defense down there by Rocket Man. We are tied up eight apiece. 14.40 to go on the Miller Time game clock. We'll step aside for 90 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown expert at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. We have planned and arranged thousands of services. Each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can 
trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're at Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Our Tech Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Bus signs and lights? Their 55-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Our Tech Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Back at it here from Orleans Arena. Thanks for joining us, friends. A pleasant good evening. Rob Hip, your play-by-play -play announcer. We are tied here, eight apiece. Sam Houston men's basketball in the second round of the WAC tournament here in Las Vegas, tied against Grand Canyon University. Tonight's officials, by the way, Winston Stith, Brent Moe, and Justin Shamion. Those are your officials here tonight. And if there is anything that's going to be replayed, I was told a little bit ago that Brent Moe is going to come over here and talk to us. He is well known in the Southland here representing the WAC today. Ellis will inbound just in front of us here at the scores table, or at our table rather. This one poked away, Savion Flagg got his hand on it. Over to Javion May, and here come the Bearcats. Great opportunity here for Sam Houston to regain the lead. Tre tied eight apiece, 14.30 to go here in the first. Jaden Ray on the left side. Guarded here by Woods, quick pass, left wing over to Lampley. Lampley picks up his dribble, finds Savion Flagg, goes over his left shoulder, and it's turned over. He was trying to sneak one over to Epay, and it was dropped away. Chance McMillan quickly here from left to right. He fires this one over to the left corner. McLaughlin for three. Yes, two for two now from downtown. And that's something that we talked about with head coach Jason Newton on the Emblem Properties keys to victory is you have got to limit their three-point shooting here tonight. So far, two of them there for McLaughlin. It's 11 to eight. Bearcats trailing. They have it back on the left side. Epe, oh, man, he spun around, but that ball got slammed out of the house. He put the move on Aiden Nigehan, and Nigehan just slammed it out of here. Man, it was back-to-back -back great moves. Ipe had a beautiful dance down there, but Nigehan read him perfectly. We'll stay with the Bearcats, 14 on the shot clock, and now Javon Grant, who's coming off the game last night where he tied his career high of 12 points, is in for Jaden Ray. So the freshman in there now. That shows Coach Hooten's confidence in how Javon Grant is starting to mature as a Bearcat player. The young freshman inbound pass over to Epe, quickly finds Savion Flag, drops it up top over to Javion May. Down to nine on the shot clock to the freshman Grant. Grant trying to work a left-handed dribble, steps back, thought about a three, found Flag. Flag on the right wing, down to two, he's got to put it up. He fires this one at the buzzer, no good off the right side. I don't think he realized until there was about two and a half seconds that he had to shoot that one. And here comes Blackshirt Jr. for the Lopes. They've got the lead 11 to 8, 13, 27 to go here in the first. Pass goes over to the left wing into the hands of Walter Ellis, who checked in moments ago. McLaughlin now back over to McMillan. McMillan stepping back, wanting to reset inside the paint. Flips this one over to the corner to Willis. Willis, good defense here by Demarcus Lampley. Has to find Blackshirt. Blackshirt down to five on the shot clock. Trying to wiggle through. He carried the ball, turned it over. Good defense down there by this Bearcat team. They have just got to find a way to make some shots here. That's really been the difference here so far for Sam Houston. They're shooting four of 10 at 40%. Grand Canyon, four of six and two of two from downtown. The Lopes have also turned it over four times compared to only two by Sam Houston. 11 to eight, Bearcats trail by three, 13 minutes to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first. Javon Grant will bring it back into the front court from right to left. Trying to work a dribble here against Blackshear. He'll go over to Lampley. Lampley, left corner three. Bam! Turn on the lights, baby! It's Demarcus Lampley wanting to bring out the sunglasses early here in Orleans Arena. We are tied at 11 apiece. Grand Canyon back to the right side. They'll take a three of their own. This one good. Man, Chance McMillan, the freshman, was wide open. 34% three-point shooter and buried that one. It's Coach Hooten. Is commanding his offense over to Javon Grant, calling out the plays. Back up top to Savion Flag. Chest pass goes to May. Ball movement good here to Grant. Grant way at the top. High screen, Epe. Grant holds on to it. 
from the free throw line, back to Lampley. Here's Lamp, trying to go inside, back over to Ipe. He'll take a three. That one off the right side of the rim. Ipe takes them from time to time. He's hit some of them, but there, that was a miss for Tristan Ipe. He had a good look, just a little bit short. Back over the Lopes, have it, feeding down low. Turned over. Savion Flag again got a hand on it. Javion May will bring it into the front court. Find Savion Flag, left wing, two guarding him, double team. And a reach in foul here. I believe it's going to go on Walter Ellis, the junior guard. So that's Walter Ellis' first personal, second team foul. Grand Canyon leads 14 to 11. 11.59 to go here in the first half. We'll take our second media timeout. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to home live events. If you live in the bank, you can best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price. Look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Cold evening outside, it is blistering hot on the court for Grand Canyon, shooting 5 of 7 out of the gate, 71% from the field. They are also a perfect 3 for 3 from downtown. And the Lopes, with that shooting and those threes, have the 14 to 11 advantage over Sam Houston. As we come out of the media timeout, Sam Houston only turning it over so far two times. How about five turnovers for Grand Canyon out of the gate here in this ball game? It's a team that normally commits Around 13 per game, that's fourth in the whack. Sam Houston here will have it with an opportunity to tie with the three. Kuba Krawowski, the fan favorite for Sam Houston out there. Here's Lampley, left wing three. And a whistle and a foul here as he shot it, I believe. We'll see if that's what it is. So three coming up here for DeMarcus, light him up Lampley. You know, we saw a lot of that last year where Lampley was able to draw contact on threes. We haven't seen too many of those calls go in his favor this season, but we'll take them here in the tournament. So three coming up here for DeMarcus Lampley, a 56% free throw shooter on the left side. You better believe he's gonna take a deep breath, bends his knees, first right-handed free throw, good. Two more coming up here for Lamp as Dante Powers set to check in in just a few moments. That bow, uh, by the way, was on Woods just a few moments ago there for the Lopes. That's his first personal third team foul. Some discussion over here as one of the officials is talking things over to the replay booth. Not exactly sure what they're going to be looking for here. And so they may be looking to see if it was a two-point shot and not a three. I believe that's what they're taking a look at here. We'll go ahead and step aside. We're going to send it over to Carlos Zimmerman back at the flagship for a WAC update. Carlos, over to you. Thank you, Rob. Back here inside the flagship KSAM studios, 14 to 12 right now between the Lopes and your Bearcats. As of this afternoon, the semifinals in the WAC on the women's side has been set. Earlier today in the opening game, Utah Valley took care of UTRGV 72 to 57 to advance to play Stephen F. Austin tomorrow afternoon. And the women, as we mentioned earlier, Sam Houston Bearcat women's team just falling to California Baptist 85-78. California Baptist will play Grand Canyon later on tomorrow. The nightcap later tonight will be Abilene Christian against SFA. Should be a good one, so may want to stick around after this one. Back to the Orleans Arena with Rob Hip. Thank you, Carlos, for that update. They're going to say it's only two free throws. No, they... 
So I guess he'll get two more here. The first one will count. So it was three. Two more coming up here for Lampley on the left side. He'll bend his knees. The next one on the way, good as well. So Lampley with one more here and an opportunity to tie us back as Javion May will head over to the bench. Always talk so much about May, how a lot of what he does does not show up on that stat line. But such an integral leader for this team, very vocal. I talked to him about that last night, actually. His sister, who lives close to this area, and his cousin. Here's the next free throw on the way. Good as well to Marcus Lampley. An under 60% free throw shooter, critical three in a row there to tie us back at 14 apiece, 11.54 to go. On the Miller time game clock here in the first half of play. Grand Canyon back with it on the right. Boy, it almost feels like they're in their own house tonight with all the fans that are here. Woods has it. This one thrown away, the sixth turnover of the night. And that potato must have a little too much butter and sour cream on it. Is it six turnovers already here for Grand Canyon? Sam Houston has got to find a way to capitalize with points off turnover. Savion Flag will inbound to Javon Grant. Grant into the front court from right to left over the left wing. Crossing over his dribble, finds Powers who just checked in moments ago with those gold shoes. Back over to Grant. Grant rotating to the right side. Finds Savion Flag. Shot clock hasn't even started yet. Either is the game clock. Nobody's realized it. Demarcus Lampley, now they finally do. My goodness. Man, I think there was probably a good 20 seconds that ran off. Nothing ran. And now they're going to have to go and review this. Wow. Those are the things that really slow the tempo of a game up. So they're going to have to go here, take a look at this. I mean, I've never seen a clock sit that long before anyone realized it as an announcer. I try to look at it, but, man, I didn't even catch it. There was probably 20 seconds gone off that clock. They're going to look down here, get things uh, with the video screen, and try to get it synced up. We'll go ahead and step aside for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. 11.42 remaining, the officials are still reviewing. I would suspect there was probably at least 15 seconds that came off the clock. They never started the game clock or the shot clock. They are still reviewing that. And once they have this review, I believe we're going to go into a full media timeout as well. We'll take this time again to thank our good sponsors. HEB helping to make this one possible as always tonight. HEB, no store, does more than my HEB. Also wanted to give a shout out to some of our friends that are in the booth tonight. Miss Phyllis Kennedy joining us from north of Huntsville, Texas and East Texas. Always good to hear from you. My wonderful mother uh, north of Austin in Georgetown, ready to cheer on the Bearcats. Good to hear from you, Mom. Love you and I miss you. How about Jonathan Knobloch? As he has really became a big Bearcat fan. Brought his mom to a lot of the games this season. We appreciate you, Jonathan. Saying got to play well tonight. Also, Brian Nicholas, that is Damon Nicholas Jr.'s father and his family up in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex joining us tonight. Sally Hosea back in Huntsville joining us from Brookview neighborhood. Good to hear from you. And also my good friend Brenda Wilburn just north of Austin, Texas joining us tonight. We also want to remind you that that Bearcat fan text line is open as always. You can text us. Let us know where you're listening from tonight and we'll try to get to you as well. That text number is 512-522-9105. Again, 512-522-9105. Please don't text and drive data and text messaging rates may apply. Dante Powers set to inbound here for Sam Houston, and they did take uh, 19 seconds, so it's pretty close. I said it felt like there was about 20. They took 19 seconds off the clock. 11.21 to go, 11 on the shot clock. Bearcats with it here. Little give and go back over to Powers. Powers flips it over to Lampley. Down to seven. Kuba's got to look up and see it. Kuba has it. He doesn't want that one from three. Fires it over. Grant, left wing three. This one off the left side of the glass. Rebound here by Grand Canyon. Tied at 14 apiece. Lopes bringing it to the front court. It is Chance McMillan over to the left corner. Trying to wiggle through defenders here. Dante Powers, good defense. This one knocked out of bounds. And it goes off of the fingertips of Chance McMillan. DeMarcus light him up. Lampley bringing the aggressive defense right in the face of McMillan. And that is the seventh turnover now by Grand Canyon. Savion Flag set to inbound here to our right in front of some of the fans that are sitting on the court tonight across from the Sam Houston bench. He'll go over to Jaden Ray. Jay will 
Jog his way into the front court, stands on the W of the WAC logo on the left side. Throws this one over his left shoulder down to Kuba Krawowski, seven foot two center. Almost loses the handle, holds on to it. Kuba wants to take it in, he'll float this one up. Off the back of the glass, no good. That's not Kuba's shot, he thought he had a lane there. We're still tied 14 apiece. Blackshire will bring it over back to the right. Give and go back to Blackshire from the right elbow. Bounce pass to the right corner down to McMillan. McMillan, he'll float up a shot. This one no good. Ping ponged around, it goes out of bounds, and it will go to Sam Houston. Boy, things moving quickly here as Grand Canyon has made five of their last seven shots, but they've turned it over four times in the last four minutes. Bearcats have not scored in two and a half minutes. They need a basket here to get their confidence going. Jaden Ray into the front court here. Blackshirt guarding him like a hawk. Back up top, pass goes to Kuba. Kuba handoff to Powers. Powers inside the paint, float. Boy, another one that just rimmed off the right side. That's been the story this season for a lot of those shots for the Bearcats when they're not falling. Blackshire finds separation inside the paint, high off the glass. Kuba had a hand in his face. That shot won't fall. That is what a seven foot two will bring you. Sam Houston has not had that tall of a presence down there since the 80s. Kuba has been a force here for this Bearcat team. Back over Jaden Ray on the left side. He'll fire this one, Savion flag. And we got a little pushing foul here away from the ball as Kuba Krawowski hits the deck and he's all smiles down there. That is called on, I believe, Gabe McLaughlin. That is his first personal 14 foul. Was not in the act of shooting. Shot clock will go to 20 here. 9.38 to go on the Miller time game clock in the first. Bearcats on the left side. Jaden Ray to inbound. Way up high over to Kuba. Near the right elbow, hand off to Ray. Ray back over right wing, Savion flag. Couple of left-handed dribbles to Ray, left wing. Thought about a three, passed up, goes to Savion. Straight away three. Yes, baby! Raise the flag! It's Savion from downtown! And the Bearcats have a three-point advantage, 17 to 14. I haven't even got the clock updated yet, or the scoreboard updated yet. And now we got a whistle and a foul back here on the right side. It's going to go against Sam Houston. Jaden Ray will pick up his second personal and the third team foul by Sam Houston. 23 seconds, 23 seconds on the shot clock. Inbounding just in front of us is the six foot five senior guard, Sean Miller Moore. Just in front of us to the right side as he's set to inbound here. He'll clap the ball in. A little quick left handed pass goes over to Blackshire. Blackshire up top, pass to McLaughlin. McLaughlin back to Miller Moore, guarded by Powers. Plenty of time on a shot clock. Trying to move the ball around here as Holland, or beg your pardon, it's actually Blackshire has it. Now the handoff goes to Woodrow Go. Back over to Blackshire, to Woodrow Go again, near the right elbow. Right-handed bounce pass goes down to Miller Moore, down to two. He's got to shoot, hand in his face, Powers, and that is a shot clock violation. Oh, baby, the Bearcats defense tonight. Even though they're allowing five of nine shooting, they are still bringing the pressure here against Grand Canyon. If Sam Houston can keep up that energy, I guarantee that shooting percentage for Grand Canyon is eventually going to fall off. Sam Houston leads 17 to 14, 843 to go here in the first. Bearcats have it at Savion flag. Sings one over to Lampley for three from the corner. Oh, baby, it's bright here in Orleans Arena, and the Bearcats are all standing up. Sam Houston by six, 835 to go. We'll step aside for 90 seconds. Stay with us, friends. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. We'll actually just take it for 30 as Grand Canyon called a timeout for 30 seconds. So we'll get back into action here. Bearcats, six point advantage, 20 to 14, 835 to go here in the first. On the court, Javon Grant, Demarcus Lampley, Savion Flag, Kuba Krawowski, the Bearcat fan favorite, and Dante Powers. And here we go back into action. Grand Canyon trying to put a log on that 9-0 run by the Bearcats. They've turned it over five times. Blackshire back on the right side. Good defense down there. Here's a three partially blocked by Savion Flag, and Javon Grant sneaks it. He's got it back for the Cats. 
Give and go back from Dante Powers to Javon Grant. Grant into the front court. His confidence building in every game. Over to the left wing, back up top over to Lampley, finds Kuba, Kuba slammed to the ground. Dante Powers was down there, and Ivan Woodra ago, the six foot nine sophomore forward, barreled into him. It was unintentional. Looks a little more harder when it is when you see a seven foot two big man hit the deck. So the foul there on Woodra ago, that is his first personal. And the fifth team foul by Grand Canyon. Kuba all smiles over there on the bench as he heads back over. And checking back into the game here is Tristan Ipe. Javon Grant puts up a shot from the left baseline. No good, but it goes out of bounds off Grand Canyon. I don't think the Lopes were ready for it down there, and either was Javon Grant. He was already running back the other way. That will take us to another media timeout. Now eight minutes straight up. Bearcats leading 20 to 14 on a 9-0 run over the last four minutes. We'll be back in 90 seconds from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the My HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. 20 to 14, back at it, friends. Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Ken Houston men's basketball battling Grand Canyon. It's win or go home for these teams. So far, Sam Houston again with that six-point advantage, 20 to 14. Here in the second round, live from Las Vegas, our good friend Nick Beckman is joining us. He's the public address announcer for Seattle U. Good to hear from you, Nick. He's cheering on the Bearcats. We like that support, Nick. Thank you very much, my friend. Of course, Seattle U. They will be in this tournament as well. They play tomorrow as they got two buys, the second seed. They will play tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Mountain. They will play the winner of Stephen F. Austin and Abilene Christian after this game. Tomorrow, here's the inbound over to Savion Flag. Turn around inside, flip it from the left hand. How about that move? Oh, that was nice and fancy. Savion Flag gives the Bearcats an eight-point advantage, 22 to 14. Grand Canyon McLaughlin back on the right side. One left-handed dribble, drop off over to Blackshear. Inside the paint, his teammate was in his way and he still made the shot. He went right behind Woodrow go. Woodrow go set up a fence down there and it worked to the advantage of Blackshear. He was able to lay it in off the right side. That'll end about a three minute scoring drought and put a cap on that 11-0 run by the Bearcats over the last four minutes. Javon Grant back to the left side, finds Epe, handoff back to Grant on the left wing. Powers, gold shoes with it at the top of the three. We're going to cross over dribble inside the paint. Oh, he puts one from his left hand, put it on a move, and he traveled. Man, it was a fancy move down there by Dante Powers. I thought for a moment he was going to work some magic, and unfortunately they called him with a travel. It looked like from here his pivot foot stayed down, but the officials didn't see it that way. 22-16, 7-11 to go here in the first. That Miller time game clock, Bearcats up front. Woods has it here for the Lopes. On the right side, near the left wing, trapped by Lampley. He finally gets this one poked away. It's Dante Powers, one on three. He's going to retreat, finds flag, back over to Powers. At the top of the three, right-handed chest pass goes to Lampley. Lampley crossing over, trying to find separation from the left elbow. Swings this one off his right hip, back over to Javon Grant. To Dante Powers, plenty of time on the shot clock. Powers wanting to take it. This one, he runs inside. He's fouled, two free throws coming up. Coming up from behind him was Gabe McLaughlin. 
So Gabe McLaughlin reaching in a little bit too hard. His second personal 16 foul by Grand Canyon. And that one will send Dante Powers, the six foot two junior guard to the line, shooting two. Powers a 71% free throw shooter, 17 of 24 this season. Powers has played in all games, but one I believe here this season. He'll shrug his shoulders. The first right-handed free throw attempt is good. Took a little prices right. Plinko bouncing, dropped its way in. There was a substitution out there for Grand Canyon. Getting set to check in here is Tayshawn Cherry. Tayshawn Cherry in the ball game. Played in 26 games this season. Averages five points a game in 17 minutes. And heading over to the bench is Ivan Woodrago. Here's Dante Powers as he'll get set back on the left side. Stands on that free throw line just in front of the WAC logo. Bends his knees, right-handed free throw, good. Boy, the Bearcats taking care of business tonight from the charity stride. That's an area they've struggled with this season, but how about it so far tonight? A perfect five of five for Sam Houston so far tonight, again, from that free throw line. Bearcats leading by eight, 24-16. They'll move it here from left to right, are the lows. Ball goes up top to Walter Ellis. He checked back in a few moments ago. Pass here down to the left wing from Woods, back up top to Cherry. Finds Woods again. Woods over to Blackshirt Jr. here on the right wing, guarded by Javon Grant, down to seven on the shot clock. At the top of the three, Savion Flag now playing the defense. Hand in his face, shot no good. Ripped out of the air. Tristan Ipe said, give it to me, man. And Ipe just rips it out of there. That's what he does best here for the Cats. Javon Grant will bring it into the front court here. Bearcats, eight-point advantage. Chance for their largest lead of the night. Currently 24 to 16, under six to go here in the first. Grant has it on the right wing. Little low bounce pass down to Ipe, back to Grant. Long three-pointer from the parking lot. That shot no good, but flag with the rebound. He's got three on him. Off the left side, good. Oh, baby, Savion flag. What a force down there for this Bearcat offense. And Sam Houston has their largest lead, 26 to 16. Woods will launch a three in front of Javion May, and it's good. And you really can't play much better defense than that. Javion May had a hand. That was just a long three-pointer down there by Woods. 26-19, Bearcats back with it here on the left side. They've got the lead, 5-16 to go in the first. He paid down to Flag. Flag battling here on Ellis. Inside, left, baseline jumper. Uses the glass, fundamentally sound, and it's good off the left side. 28-19, nine-point deficit for the Lopes. Five minutes to go back in the right side. McLaughlin at the top of the three. Quick chest pass goes to Woods. Woods retreats on the right wing. JV on May poking a hand in. Powers, I beg your pardon, it was DeMarcus Lampley poked it away. It's another turnover. Man, that is the 10th of the ball game already here for Grand Canyon. Sam Houston looking strong here in the first. Javon Grant to the left side, over to Ipe. He'll find Savion Flag. Flag sings this one over to Lampley on the right wing. He'll take a long jumper for two. This one off the left inside part of the rim and bounces out. Bearcats have made five of their last eight, by the way. Here's Blackshire quickly over the right side. It's blocked by Javon Grant. Oh, man, he came over his right side, knocked it out of the house. Dante Powers back into the ball game. Savion Flag will head over to the bench. A much deserved rest for that young man. Already nine points coming off his ninth double double of the year last night. As Jaron Cook coming in to light the stove here, Demarcus Lampley will head over to the bench. Just heard Coach Hooten across, way across from us, telling Jaron Cook no three. He's got to guard him down here. Inbound over. Here's Blackshire. He'll take a long jumper from the right wing. Shot no good. Rebound Ellis. No one's there to block him out. And a foul on the court. Believe it's going to go against Jaron Cook, who just checked in moments ago. So Cook will pick up his first personal. Believe it's only the 14th foul by Sam Houston. Not in the act of shooting, so Blackshire will inbound here on his own right baseline. From our vantage point, the right part of his rim. Looking to inbound, finds Woods. Woods has it near the right corner. Good defense, Powers. Woods, hop step inside the circle to around jumper. That one well defended, shot's not there. Rebound pulled out of the air. Good off the left side of the glass by Tayshawn Cherry. Cherry put a little bit on top with that one with the offensive rebound. 28-21, Bearcats 10 point advantage has been sliced now down to seven. Javon Grant on the left side, 3.55 to go here in the first of the middle time. Game clock, Blacks are guarding him. Grant holds on, he's moving quickly down there. Over to Dante Powers, goes off Powers' foot. That's a deflection. Oh no, that's a deflection. Powers back with it. The Grand Canyon fans aren't happy, but that's a deflection. 
Dante Powers has it, left wing three on the way. This one no good, rebound Epe. Man, he went up about 11 feet in the air and a foul here against Grand Canyon. Oh man, things getting a little hot down here on the court. And a foul was called down there on Tayshawn Cherry. It's his first personal, the 17th foul, and a one and one coming up for the Bearcats when we come back. We'll go ahead and take this one for 60 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Back at it here from Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Rob Hip, thanks for joining us. 28-21, 3.37 to go on the Miller Time game clock. And a 1-1 coming up here for the Bearcats as we come out of that timeout here in just a few moments. Grand Canyon, they have now cooled off a bit. 8 of 17 from the field, shooting 47%. They did finally miss a three a few moments ago. Now 4 of 5, shooting 80%, 1 of 2 from the charity stripe. But the biggest stat right now, besides their great shooting that stands out, the Lopes have turned it over 10 times. The Bearcats have capitalized with 11 points off of those 10 turnovers. Sam Houston is being out-rebounded right now, 12 to 11. Grand Canyon entering this contest, doing pretty well on that rebounding side. They are second in the WAC, 14th in the country, averaging almost 41 rebounds a game compared to nearly 38 for Sam Houston. If you'll remember early in the season, that was a staple for this Bearcat team. The rebounds have cooled off a little bit here. Tristan Ipe, one and one here on the left side. Free throw coming up here for Sam Houston's Tristan Ipe. He is a 61% free throw shooter. Run here, that one good. One more coming up here for Ipe. Sam Houston remains hot from the free throw line, now shooting six of six. So critical here, especially down the stretch and in these tournaments. Ipe takes a deep breath. A lot of pressure in his face with those Grand Canyon fans. Second one good as well. I think there was even a Grand Canyon young man down there that was pulling his shirt up trying to throw him off. Didn't matter. Tristan Ipe is a pro. He knows what to do. 30-21. Bearcats by nine. 3.30 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first half. Laughlin has it here for the Lopes on the right side. Dante Powers playing great defense here. Cats in a 2-3 as Javion May working off the screen. Now guarding Blackshire. Pass goes over to the corner on that left side to Ellis. Ellis down inside the paint. Pass goes to Gahan. And turnaround jumper there by Gahan is good. He averages only three points a game. Critical one there, though. That'll get his team a little bit of juice here. 30 to 23. Sam Houston with a seven point advantage. Three minutes to go here in the first. From the hip goes over to Ipe near that right corner. Now inside the paint. Flip, dip, shot up, no good. Pinged up in the air. We got a whistle here and an offensive foul. It's going to go against Sam Houston. And it may have been on Tristan Ipe. So Ipe with a second personal 15 foul by Sam Houston. Matt Wilson, Kuba Krawowski back into the ball game. Jaron Cook and Ipe over to the bench. So Krawowski checking back in. Lampley in there as well. Savion flag also. They're going to have to sort this out because there's six on the court right now. So Dante Powers will head over to the bench. So on the court for the Bearcats, it's Lampley. Kuba Krawowski, Javion May, Javon Grant, and Savion Flag. Here we go, inbound here by Grand Canyon, trailing by seven, 30 to 23, 243 to go here in the first. Into the front court, Blackshirt guarded by Javon Grant. Blackshirt for the right wing. Now Savion Flag has to pick him up to the right corner. Over to Ellis, back over to Blackshirt. Blackshirt trying to work inside, pass goes left wing, McMillan. McMillan trapped down there, quickly up top to Cherry. Finds Blackshire again, down to five on the shot clock. Blackshire darting one down low. How about that pass? Right over to Cherry, the assist, and lay it up and good off the right side by Cherry. 
You talk about threading a needle, that's about as close as you're going to get on those kind of passes. 30 to 25, Grand Canyon fans on their feet. Man, there's a ton of them here. Bearcats on the left side. Trying to not let that play into him. Javion May inside the paint. Floats one, partially blocked there by Yehan. Goes out of bounds off Sam Houston and right back here to the Lopes. 2.02 to go. And the Miller time game clock here in the first half. Bearcats lead 30 to 25. And Sam Houston has had enough. They're going to take a timeout here. We'll take it with them for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled. So is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in the prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime 1 burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters. Or use the My HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Welcome back, friends, live from Las Vegas, Nevada, here at Orleans Arena on the side of the Orleans Hotel, 25, Grand Canyon, Bearcats 30, five-point advantage, again, 2.02 to go. Grand Canyon taking advantage of Sam Houston, not making any field goals in the last 3.08. They're over their last four, Grand Canyon, three of their last three. They once trailed by as many as 10. That has now been cut to five. The Lopes have it here, moving from left to right, Chance McMillan. Trying to go around the high screen from Cherry. Still holds on to it, top of the three. Now driving inside the paint. Flips one up, guarded all over the place. And that shot did not go in, but a foul here on JV on May, I believe. It is on JV on May. It's his first personal 16 foul. That was in the act of shooting. So McMillan to the line here on the right side to shoot two. Chance McMillan, the freshman guard, a 93% free throw shooter. He's almost automatic. Bends his knees, first one on the way. Not automatic here. That's why I said it, he missed the first one. One more coming up here, 30 to 25. Missed the first one for that free throw shooter that's over 90% on the season. 93% missed the first one. McMillan will try to regroup here. Takes a few dribbles, bends his knees. Next free throw on the way, makes that one. 30 to 26, 142 to go. Bearcats holding on to the four point advantage. They need a basket here. Oh, of their last four in the last. Game clock here in the first, Bearcats by four. Grant at the top, thought about a three, pump fake, goes over to Jamie on May, right wing, back over to Lampley. Lampley with it, from inside now, takes a jumper, right elbow, this one rattles in and out, no good. Blackshire with the rebound. 54 seconds on the game clock, 25 on the shot clock, here's a three from the right corner, no good, rebound. May hit the deck hard, and it's a foul here against Grand Canyon, the Lopes fans can't believe it. That foul. It's on Tayshawn Cherry, his second personal. An eighth team foul, so one and one coming up here for Sam Houston on the left side. They have not scored in the last two minutes and 10 seconds. Oh, up their last six shots. J.D. on May with the 10. A little separation insurance down to 47 seconds. On that left side, J.D. on May only a 49 that left side, the student section. Here's the first end, no good. Rebound drops to Yehan. 13 second differential from the game clock and the shot clock as Blackster brings it into the front court. Over to the right wing.
after that 7-0 run to end the half for Grand Canyon. Time to take a look at some team stats. First, looking at the Bearcats. Savion Flag. he's got nine points to Marcus Lampley. He leads the team with 11. He's three of two from outside the arc, three of three at the charity stripe. Tristan Ipe, he has six. Javon Grant, excuse me, Jaden Ray's got two. Dante Powers also has two. Javon Grant, Jaron Cook, and Cooper Kowalski have all seen the floor, but have yet to crack into the scoring column in this ballgame so far. Looking at the team stats, Bearcats, the shooting has gone down. Canyon, they're 11 of 22. And getting it done from outside the arc, that was a few of our keys to the game early on in the ball game. Grand Canyon, 5 of 7 from 3, 71%. Bearcats are 33%, 3 of 9 from 3, not seeing what they had last night. Bearcats are 7 of 8 at the charity stripe, good for 88%, 50% for Grand Canyon, 2 of 4. And those turnovers, that's really what's been the factor and got Sam Houston up early. 10 turnovers by Grand Canyon. Bearcats able to get 11 points off those turnovers. The Bearcats only got 3, 4 points off of those turnovers. Grand Canyon's winning the rebounding battle right now, 18 to 13. Bearcats with 5 offensive rebounds. For the Bearcats, a couple big ones. One earlier from Javon Grant as well. One for the Grand Canyon Lopes. Five steals for the Bearcats coming off of a night where they had 12. Two only for the Lopes. Five assists for the Bearcats. Seven for the Lopes. That's a look at the first half stats. Quickly looking back at earlier this afternoon, like we said, California Baptist knocking off Sam Houston on the women's side, 85-78. Utah Valley taking care of UTRGV, 72-57. to Utah Valley will get Stephen F. Austin tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock our time, and then California Baptist gets Grand Canyon at 4.30. And then in the nightcap later tonight, Abilene Christian takes on Stephen F. Austin for a chance to advance to the WAC semifinals to take on the Seattle Redhawks. The winner of this game between Sam Houston and Grand Canyon will head on to face the New Mexico State Aggies, the number one seed. And only a couple updates from around the world of college basketball. TCU upsetting Texas today, 65 to 60. And then a big upset also in the Big 12. Oklahoma taking the number three team in the country, Baylor to task, winning it 72 to 67. That'll do it for my end of the halftime show. When we come back, we'll get you back to Rob Hip. He's got the athletic director, Bobby Williams, with him for the second half of the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. So don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back here in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Requirements. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. That does it for me. Let's get you back over to the Orleans Arena. Rob Hip has the athletic director, Bobby Williams. Over to you, Rob. All right, but Carlos, thank you. Back here live from 
Orleans Arena. We'll switch it over here. Now joined by our athletic director at Sam Houston, Mr. Bobby Williams. Bobby, always good to see you. I always call you coach, man. Good yeah. to see you, Coach Williams. I love it. Still call me coach. Well, hey, you and I were talking while Carlos had that first segment at halftime. And, you know, this is the first time, at least in your tenure, and that's been quite some time, that we have been in a tournament this far away from home. But it's a special atmosphere here. Been a lot of fun. Just wanted to ask you kind of your thoughts and what makes these tournaments so special. I think it's really neat for our student athletes. Uh, it's been a good experience, uh, a little different, because we've been so close in Katy the uh, last, I don't know, 15, 16 years, something like that. And to come out here and have th this atmosphere and the new conference, and it's, it's been a fun ex experience for everything. We're playing well, and that, that's that's a positive part of it, too. Seems like everybody's having a lot of fun. I was telling Coach Hooten, I said, I was very happy with our kids because it shows the discipline. The first night I was here, I was out walking around. I got here late. I saw a lot of the other teams and their kids wandering around. I didn't see one single Bearcat. And Coach Hooten said, you know, we take good care of those guys. They yep. know that it's all business here. and. You take that, it shows up on the court. Sam Houston's playing really well in this tournament. Really did. We played great last night. You know, we're like we're capable of playing. And when we do that, we're as good as anybody in this conference. And, and tonight, we're really getting after it again, too, because we play such good defense. And now we're hitting some shots. And, uh, you know, I think the more we can stay like that, put a little pressure on Grand Canyon, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. The women's, they had a good first game versus Lamar. A tough outing as they fell against California Baptist. But in Coach Justice's return, those girls went on a streak. You've got to be very proud. And I even told them they still had a very successful season, Coach. No doubt about it. You know, the adversity that they went through and, and how everything happened. And now we've got Raven back. And, and uh, just really glad that uh, they have come together and made such a nice run. It was tough today. Uh, but, you know, the thing is, after everything they've gone through, they've represented our department, this university, at one of the highest levels that, that any team we've ever had has done. I mean, just people don't have any idea what they've, they've struggled with and had to go through. And it's it, it, just to, to be where they were at in the game this today, and, you know, it's, I'm really proud of them. You know, you've seen so many exciting things, and I've talked to you on other interviews, Coach, about just how this university continues to grow and under your excellent leadership. And then, of course, Dr. White coming in, and she's here. I mean, it's so yep. important to she's see. She's been here the whole time. Been here rocking and rolling, having fun. Uh, what has just really impressed you as Sam Houston continues to grow? There's so many exciting things. You know, and I, I'll even be honest, I had an opportunity to possibly go out west, and I turned that down because I feel that there's something very special here. And, you know, just as I want our fans to be a part of it, I want to be a part of it. What has this been like for you seeing so many great things happen here at Sam? Well, you know, 40 years here, 25 years as AD has been very special for me and my family just to, to be a part of this university. But we, I've seen it changed so dramatically. When we were about 9,000 students when I got here in 1982, and now we're over 22,000 right there. The success and consistency we've had in the athletic department, the what the university has done, adding the, the medical school and all the, all the great growth in the academic areas, and uh, just, you know, really exciting with the, the building and the changing of the, the, the physical plan of everything on our campus. It's, it's really, you gotta be really proud as alumni and someone that's been here so long. Uh, of how the university is just growing. And, you know, they've always used to say how best kept secret. We're not. We're, we're, we're right there. We can compete with anybody. And I think that's the biggest part of what, what we try to do in athletics is uh, we're not afraid to, to compete. We're going to be very classy. We're going to try to do it the right way. Uh, but we want to win just as much as anybody, and I'm proud of the fact we've been consistent doing that across our whole department, all 17 sports. A lot of exciting things happening on the way to FBS, but still in transition for that. Uh, here in the WAC, we'll play one more year in the WAC and then move into Conference USA. Uh, but Coach, just very excited again, all the things that you have done, your staff, from the leadership all the way to the top down. For anybody out there listening or in the booth tonight, we just want you to know the culture is unique. It's a great place, and you get a great education at Sam Houston. We appreciate you, Bobby. Well, I appreciate that a lot. That's a, that's a big compliment because that's, that's a compliment to our coaches, our student athletes, and this university. Awesome. Well, once again, Coach Bobby Williams here. I always tell the students this. Bobby, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you on one. Who do you want to say hello to tonight? <laughs> well, I always want to say hello to my family, but all the Bearcats out there, thank you for all your support that you've given us over the years, especially the last few years. We just want to represent you at the highest level we can and eat them up, Cats. Eat them up, Cats. That was the next one you got to it. Again, it's Athletic Director Coach Bobby Williams. 152 here at halftime as Sam Houston leads 30-29, to 29, and we'll take one final break. We've got that second half coming up when we come back from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network.
Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month. Greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a no bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your no bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. Back at it, friends. Thanks for joining us live from Las Vegas, Nevada. It is Sam Houston men's basketball, the second round of the WAC tournament, leading Grand Canyon, the Lopes 30 to 29. I want to remind you this game made possible in part by our good friends at HEB, no store does more in my H-E-B. We also have several friends joining us in the booth here tonight. Feel free to let us know you're out there and where you're listening from. We'll get to those comments as we can. And also, that Bearcat fan text line is open. We had a couple of messages come in earlier. You can always text us at 512-522-9105. Again, 512-522-9105. Sam Houston in that first half, they cooled off down to 34% from the field, 33% from downtown, compared to 50% for Grand Canyon, who was 11 of 22, and also hot from three-point land at 71% of five from seven. Sam Houston got to do a better job blocking those shots, getting in front of them, and really pushing the issue here in the second half. Those were the keys to victory by Emblem Properties. Coach said that you've got to contest the threes. I think the Cats have contested several of the threes. They've just been going down for Grand Canyon. But here we go, we're back into action. Sam Houston will now move from left to right to start this second half of play. Bounce pass from Jaden Ray down to Savion Flag, swings it over to May. Left wing three, bam, ho, oh, Javion May. How about that for the Bearcats and Javion May right out of the gate to give Sam Houston a 33 to 29 advantage with 30 seconds gone here in the second. Back over to Woods here on the left side. Bounce pass quickly goes down to Blackshire up top. Back to the right wing. The pass to Woods. Inside the paint from the semicircle. Darts this one back over to McLaughlin. He'll find Woods. Woods backpedaling his dribble down to eight on the shot clock from the left ring. Savion flag on him. Right-handed pass goes at the feet. Almost turned over. Blackshire at the top. Over the right wing. Miller Moore. Wide open three. No. This one no good. This one flipped up into the air. Bearcats trying to hold on to it, and they do. Here's Savion flag. Slam it home, baby. Oh, mama, what a play by the Bearcats. Sam Houston has a six-point advantage. 18.58 to go here in the second half. It's 35 to 29, as Blackshire will bring it from right to left for the Lopes. Quick pass goes into the hands of Miller Moore, who missed the three just moments ago. A left-handed pass here to the left wing. He'll find Blackshire. Blackshire bounce pass to Woodrow go. Holding it up, Tristan Epe guarding him at the top of the three. Still has a dribble, now a left-handed pass goes from the chest. Over into the hands of McLaughlin. McLaughlin will find Woods. Woods with five on the shot clock from the paint, hand in his face, and that shot good. Tristan Ipe had good defense down there, but just a little bit too much as that shot dropped in. 35-31, Sam Houston up front here by four. With 18-19 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the ball game, Jaden Ray has it on the right side. He'll find Ipe on the left wing. Ipe with a left-handed pass down on the left baseline to Savion Flag, squaring up here against Miller Moore. He's got a foul. And let's see, that's on Miller Moore. I don't know why he's clapping. He committed the foul. It's his second personal, first team foul of the second half by Grand Canyon. Sam Houston set to inbound here. 20 back on the shot clock. We're almost two minutes into the second half. Bearcats holding on to the four-point advantage, 35-31. Inbounding Jaden Ray on the left baseline. Looking for an open teammate, finds Lampley. Left corner, Lampley. No shot there, now he'll take one actually. On its way, good baby! Demarcus Lampley, light him up Lampley, put on your shades, it's still bright here tonight in Orleans Arena. It's 38-31, Blackshire will float one from the left elbow, that shot no good, pinged around. 
of Javion May to Savion Flag. And here come the Bearcats on the near side. Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court with a right-handed dribble. Guarded up top here by Blackshire. Finds a right-handed pass over to May on the right wing. Chest pass back to Ipe. Ipe around the world we go back to Ray. Holding it above his hands. He'll find Savion Flag with eight on the shot clock. Back up to Jaden Ray inside the paint. Ray loses his handle on the court down to two. We've got a whistle here and a jump ball possession arrow Grand Canyon. A lot of movement on that play and unfortunately the Bearcats will lose the possession. It'll go back to Grand Canyon. Sam Houston, seven point advantage, 38-31, 17-22 to go on the Miller time game clock here in a ball game. It's winner go home. Coach Hooten having a little quick chat with the official there. And Grand Canyon set to inbound here in just a few moments. Boy, they're down there wiping up some of the moisture on the court. They were just taking their time. They were just walking around there wiping that up. Here's the inbound from McLaughlin over to Blackshear. Blackshear, straight up the middle he goes. To the left wing now, Jaden Ray guarding him. Blackshear has a right-handed dribble. Retreats over to the top of the three. A little hot potato give and go action from McLaughlin. Back over to Blackshear now, rotating to the right wing. Swing a pass down to Miller Moore. Near that right corner inside the paint now. Trying to turn around on Javion May. Puts up a shot and one. Wow. He drew the contact there inside the paint. And an and one opportunity for McLaughlin. Javion May picks up his second personal. The first team foul by Sam Houston here in the second half. Bearcats with a five-point advantage, 38-33, 17.03 to go on the Miller time game clock as Miller Moore, the six-foot-five sophomore guard, senior guard rather, taking a free throw here. 60% on its way, the end one is good. Miller Moore with his fourth point of the night. Bearcats have two in double digits. DeMarcus line them up Lampley with 14. Savion Flag has 11. No one in double digits for Grand Canyon. Their hot shooting is keeping them in this ball game. Javion May to the right wing. Pass goes back up top to Ipe. Now rotated around over the left wing. Jaden Ray launching it down low to Savion Flag. Turn around, floater from the right hand. No good off the back of the 10. Rebound high into the air. And it's pulled down by Woodrow ago. And here comes Grand Canyon over to Woods on the left wing. One right-handed dribble, quick right-handed pass to Woodrow ago. Back over to the right wing. Blackshire rotating now near that right elbow. Swings this one down low to Woodrow ago. Trapped by Savion Flag. Trying to battle, turned around and turned over. Javion May got a hand in it, pinged it over to Tristan E. Pay, and here come the Bearcats. Jaden Ray will waltz his way into the front court with a right-handed dribble, uses his left hand to direct traffic, drops it off to Javion May, the chest pass to Flag. Flag, two quick left-handed dribbles, still has his dribble, actually. Here's a right, a left wing three to Marcus Lampley, trying to fall into it, shot's not there. Javion May hit the deck hard, Grand Canyon has it on the far side, on the rebound from right to left, Blackshire. Over to Woods, way downtown, left wing, yes. Man, somebody's got to get that man a parking pass. He was way downtown. 38-37, that 10-point lead has been trimmed down to only one. Bearcats holding on, 15, 39 to go. Jaden Ray into the front court on the right side. Right-handed dribble, finds May up top at the three. Working around a high screen, Ipe puts up a shot. He's fouled, won't fall in, but two free throws coming up for JV on May. The foul is on Ivan Woodrago. It is his second personal and the second team foul, and that will take us to our first media timeout of the second half. Sam Houston leads 38-37, 15-29 to go. We'll be back in 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be 
celebrate. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Back to Las Vegas, Nevada. Friends, Rob Pip here on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston men's basketball in the second round of the Western Athletic Conference men's basketball tournament, leading the Lopes right now, 38 to 37. Again, 15, 29 to go. Bearcats only shooting here in this game, 38 percent, 13 of 34. Grand Canyon has been hot, hot, hot from the field, 14 of 27, and that three-point line has been generous where they are six of nine tonight. Bearcats, they're not doing too bad from downtown at five of 12. As the Lopes, though, have had more advantages on that side of the ball game so far. Sam Houston also doing a great job on the defensive side as far as turnovers go. They have forced 11 turnovers by the Lopes. Coming out of the media timeout, Sam Houston, Javion May, the six foot two junior guard to shoot free throws here on the right side, 49% free throw shooter. He is one for one here tonight. First one from the right hand, good as it rattles in. JV on May said, ignore whatever my stat line says from the line. I'm gonna prove you wrong here in the tournament. He's got one more coming up, takes a deep breath, three dribbles, bends his knees, right-handed free throw on the way. This one off the front of the rim, no good. Blackshire rebound. Actually, it was Miller Moore with the rebound. Blackshire now has it. Running the point here from right to left. Back up top, quick pass, swings it over to McLaughlin. Now to the right wing, the pass to Woods, guarded by Lampley. One left-handed dribble, now the left-handed pass goes back up top to Blackshire. Jaden Ray on top of him. Little give and go action, now it's over to Gahan. He'll find Woods, Woods, right baseline jumper, no good, rebound Miller Moore. As he found the lane inside of there, Blackshire will drive in, finds it over to Gahan and floated in and good. We are now tied up at 39 apiece. 14.40 to go here on the Miller time game clock. Sam Houston with it on the right side. Bounce pass up top to Epe. Epe over to Lampley. Lampley down left baseline to flag. Trying to work around. Inside, find separation. Good. Savion flag with a nice move. Rolling it off the front of the rim. It's 41 to 39. The Lopes trailing by two. 14.30 here in the second. Ball back over to Miller Moore on the right wing. Javion May guarding him, Miller Moore, one dribble, right-handed pass goes over to Woods, inside the paint, flip it up, that shot good as well. And back and forth we go, we are tied back at 41. 14-15 to go on the middle of time. Game clock, Grand Canyon has outscored Sam Houston, 12 to 11 here in the second half. Jaden Ray has it here on the near side from left to right, just in front of us on the right wing, left-handed pass up top to Lampley. Lampley, left-handed dribble, back over to Ipe. Ipe takes two right-handed dribbles, finds Jaden Ray, sets the high screen, Ray works around it inside the paint, Ray float it, left hand, good! Oh baby, good move down there by Jaden Ray, and how about Tristan Ipe setting up that screen? This one knocked away, but it's held on here by the Lopes, up to Blackshire, ball goes to McLaughlin, now to the right corner, driving in, pass goes from Woods, and a slam it home to Igehan. That'll get the Grand Canyon fans who have filled this arena with all purple, on their feet, tied at 43 apiece. Jaden Ray back here on the near side from left to right. He's got it on the right wing, using his left hand to fill off Blackshire. Down the flag, takes a jumper, good. And as Savion flag retreats, he is all smiles. It is hot, hot, hot here now for both teams as each team has made three of their last three shots here over the last three minutes. Grand Canyon trails by two, 45-43. Here's a three from Blackshire, good. Man, nobody can miss a shot right now. Let's see if the Bearcats can respond with a three of their own. They're trailing by one, 46-45, 12.48 to go. Ray into the front court, into the left wing now. He'll retreat back over, top of the three, takes a couple of dribbles, chest pass to Flag. Flag holding on to it, just inside the three-point line, driving in, fouled here before the shot. That will slow things up a bit. The foul's gonna go on Sean Miller Moore. It is his third personal. And the third team foul by Grand Canyon here in the second half. Tristan Ipe will head over to the bench alongside 
Demarcus Lampley, Dante Powers checking back into the game, and the Bearcat fan favorite, Kuba Kurwowski, back in there as well. Not in the act of shooting, so Jaden Ray will inbound, reset the shot clock to 20, 12.32 to go. Bearcats trail by one, 46-45. Inbound flag, left corner three, rolls in and out. Kowalski, he pulls it down, the ball goes out of bounds, and it's off of Grand Canyon, or off of the Bearcats. And Kuba is saying, wait a minute. And he may have had a little Polish chatter back there with the official. As the official said, it went off of his right thigh. Back over to Grand Canyon, Blackshirt. Now to the left side, McMillan. Back up top, here's a three, Woods. No good, rebound, Savion flag. Bearcats trailing, 46-45, 12-11 to go on the Miller time game clock. Here in the second round of the WAC men's tournament. Jaden Ray walks his way into the front court on the far side. Blackshirt guarding him now on the left wing. Crossover dribble, high screen flag. Ray still holding on to it, trying to go on the left baseline. Rip it up off the right side. Oh, man, what a shot. Acrobatic move there as he goes under the right side, flips it over his shoulder, lay it up and good. Bearcats regain the lead, 47-46. Grand Canyon has it on the left side. Into the hands of McMillan, dark chest pass goes to Blackshirt Jr. on the left wing. High screen up top, McLaughlin. Now Blackshirt working inside from the right elbow. Still has his dribble, rotates to the right wing. Finds Woods, Woods driving in. Tries to sling this one around. Ball almost turned over. Yegehan holding on to it. Now here's a left corner three. Woods, no good. Rebound, Jaden Ray. Bearcats with a chance to build upon their one-point advantage. Ray up top to Kuba. This one knocked out of the air. It was McMillan. They were looking for the alley-oop. Now right wing, Blackshirt. He'll pass up on a three. Finds McMillan back court. And that is Bearcat basketball, baby. The 12th turnover by Grand Canyon of the night. That will take us to a media timeout. 47, 46, Sam Houston men's basketball returns in 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Cat course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat course in Huntsville. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. 47-46, Sam Houston men's basketball continues here on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network, live from Las Vegas, Nevada, the Orleans Arena here in the second round. Bearcats have made four of their last five shots at one point, leading by as many as 10 in this ball game that has been sliced down. Actually, it was a 10 back at the 545 mark when it was 26 to 16. Grand Canyon coming out hot here in the second half, but the Bearcats have managed to claw their way back. And again, holding on to that one point advantage. Sam Houston warming up 17 of 39 from the field, making 44% of their shots and seven of 10 here in this half alone. That is critical as Grand Canyon shooting seven of 12 here in the second half. And we will get back into action. I want to welcome you in as well, not just uh, when we broadcast for Sam Houston, but also some friends joining us from Grand Canyon, from Basalia, California, cheering on the Lopes. Thomas Price, thanks for joining us here tonight. 47-46, Dante Powers will inbound just in front of our table here. On the right side of the court, Savion Flag is out there. Jaden Ray, Kuba Kurwowski, and Javon Grant, the freshman. Inbound pass goes to Ray near center court, stands on the Sea of the Whack logo. As he is yelling, directing traffic, past Javon Grant over on the left wing, back over to Jaden Ray, now to Powers. Powers over the head, finds Jaden Ray. Jaden Ray down low, Flag, right elbow jumper, bounces off, no good. 
Man, that one was close. McMillan has it now here for the Lopes. Chance to regain the lead from the left wing. Driving, trying to go left baseline. Goes back up top to Ellis. Now the over-the-head pass finds Woods. Woods trying to work inside here on Ray as he's backing him down now. Ball goes back up top to Cherry. Cherry back to Woods on the right wing. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Swing this one back over to Cherry. Cherry blocked by Krawowski as Kuba said, hello, mama, back in Warsaw, Poland. Seven on the shot clock, 47-46. Sam Houston leading by one. Grand Canyon will get it back here as they hold on to the possession after Kuba slammed it out of the area. Grand Canyon to inbound. It is Woods on his own right baseline up top to Ellis. That's a mismatch down there. Javon Grant's on him. Over to Woods. Down to three. Down to two. Woods tripped up from behind. That's a shot clock violation, I believe. Yes, it is. Ball back to the Bearcats, baby. Grand Canyon fans aren't happy. And Kuba Kowalski has taken his left hand saying, come on, get even louder. I want to hear it. Kuba feeds off of visiting crowds, by the way. Here come the Bearcats, left to right. Jaden Ray with it. On the right side, rotates to the left wing. Finds Kuba up top. Kuba, he's telling Javon Grant to move. Over to the right wing, the pass goes to Grant. Swing it down to Savion Flag. Flag back up top. Grant passes up on a three. Finds Kuba, and it's out of his hands. Javon Grant had a good look down there. Kuba wasn't ready for it. And Javon Grant will hold up his right hand and say, that's my fault. Although it did bounce off Kuba. Again, 47-46, 9.59 to go here on the Miller Time game clock in the second round of the tournament. Inbound here by Tayshawn Cherry. He'll find Blackshire. Blackshire on the near side, moving it up front here from right to left at the top, the pass to Cherry. Cherry over to Ellis on the right wing, guarded by Grant. Dark chest pass back to Blackshire. Blackshire trying to weave through traffic. Now the right elbow retreats to the right wing, finds Ellis, three corner on its way, no. Rebound on the court. This one is there, the Bearcats, do they have it? And well, I've never seen an official pull the arm off of a player. It will go, I believe, to Sam Houston, and that will take us to another timeout. We'll take it for 30 seconds. Let's go over to Carlos Zimmerman back at the flagship studios for a whack update. Carlos, over to you. Thank you, Rob. Back here inside the Case Sam Studios, the flagship station here. 47-46, Bearcats on top here in this second half. Really quickly here, taking a look ahead at what's coming up later tonight. Abilene Christian taking on SFA. SFA favorite in this game, but Abilene Christian has been pesky against the Lumberjacks this season. So it's going to be very, very exciting to see. That game is coming up at the conclusion of this one between Sam Houston and Grand Canyon. Around the world of college basketball, some good games going on so far. McNeese in the Southland quarterfinals is up on New Orleans, 70-68. Texas Tech is up at, on Iowa State at the half, 39-20. to And UTEP down to Middle Tennessee, 36-31 to in the Conference USA quarterfinals. A pair of teams that the Bearcats, actually UTEP in Middle, UTEP you won't see when the Bearcats move to Conference USA. Middle Tennessee will be that team. Back over to the Orleans Arena for the rest of this ballgame with Rob Hip. Thank you, Carlos. And actually what happened there was Grand Canyon was on the court. They called a timeout. We stretched it to a media timeout. So Grand Canyon, it's my understanding, they will have the possession here. 9.33 to go in a ball game. Sam Houston leads 47 to 46. The Lopes, all of their last five, they have not scored in the last three minutes and 23 seconds, while Sam Houston is on a scoring drought of their own. In the last two minutes and 20 seconds. The difference in this ball game so far, one thing that stands out right away, the three-point shooting, Grand Canyon, seven of 14. And also the rebounds. Grand Canyon is out-rebounding Sam Houston. Get this, 25 to 18. This is a Bearcat team that hauls down over 30 per game. And so far in this one, only 18 so far. We still have that 9.33 to go. Well, this game made possible in part by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Quickly looking over to Marcus Lampley here in this ball game. 14 points already tonight. He has been a four. Savion Flag has really turned up the juice here in the second half, shooting seven of 14 from the field. He's got 15 points and four boards in 29 minutes. May has four, Ipe has six, Ray has six, and Dante Powers has two. The Bearcats have got to find a way in this last 9.30 to get some better ball distribution 
and find a way to get more guys active. You can't always depend on Lampley and Flag. Last night it was a well-rounded effort as every player except Damon Nicholas Jr., who only played in four minutes. He was the only player that didn't score. We even saw uh, there in a moment because, of course, the Bearcats were up huge. Uh, we saw Kevin Martina come in. He had a three in that ball game. That got the Bearcat bench on their feet. It was a lot of fun, but things in a much more serious tone here tonight in the second round and a much closer score. Sam Houston trying to hold on here again, 47 to 46. As the officials down there telling the broom crew, the broom crew, the mop crew, whatever you call them, down there to get some of that moisture off the floor. It was out there near the right wing. They got that cleaned up, and we'll get back into action here. Ellis is set to inbound on his own side of the court. From our vantage point on the left side, he stands right to the left of his own bench. Ellis, the inbound, goes to Blackshire. We are back underway. Grand Canyon, a chance to regain the lead. Blackshire trapped over there by Jaden Ray on the right wing. Handoff goes back here to McMillan inside, and they're going to wave this one as a foul before the shot. It's going to go on Dante Powers. That's his first personal and only the second team foul by Sam Houston here in the second half. Shot clock back to 20, inbounding again is Ellis this time on his own right baseline, right under his rim. Ellis looking for an open player. He'll find Blackshire near the right wing. One left-handed dribble back up top to Ellis. Ellis, chest pass goes to McMillan. McMillan guarded by Powers, trying to work off a high screen, takes a three, yes. Boy, that three can't be denied tonight. That's been the name of the game here for this Grand Canyon team, and they have their largest lead now, 49 to 47. Nine minutes to go. Jaden Ray trying to remain calm over to Javon Grant. Grant up top to Kuba. Kuba telling Javon to run down. Kuba takes one dribble, trying to swing it down and turns it over. And here comes Grand Canyon. McMillan behind the back, up front, pass, assist. No, shot's not there. And boy, Bearcats got lucky. I thought there could have been a goal 10. It's back over, Savion Flag finds Grant, right baseline, zings this one over to Flag. Flag is hit all over the place. They're gonna whistle this one before it got down on the court. Or before it, the shot went up, I believe. Foul is gonna go there on Tayshawn Cherry. It's his third personal, fourth team foul. And that was in the act of shooting, thank goodness. I mean, Savion Flag was being manhandled down there. Two or three were on him. He'll take free throws here on the right side. Savion Flag, his first free throw of the night is good. That's a critical one. It's a one point advantage for Grand Canyon, 49-48, 8.37 to go. Javon Grant will head back over to the bench. Javion May is in for him. Also Dante Powers back to the bench. Tristan Ipe checking back in. One more free throw attempt here for Savion Flag. As Gabe McLaughlin will also check into the ball game for Tayshawn Cherry for the Lopes. One more free throw, Savion a chance to tie it. So he'll get the ball from the official on the right side, takes two dribbles, right-handed free throw, no good. That I believe is the third miss of the night now for the Bearcats, now nine of 12 from the free throw line. Here's a three, right wing on its way, no good. It battled around, we got a whistle and a foul here, and it's gonna go against Sam Houston on the rebound attempt. See if it's on JV on May or who they called it on. No, it's called on Tristan Ipe. Third personal for Ipe, third team foul. Now the fouls are starting to pour on. It was a pretty slow game as far as fouls being called, and now here down to the 825, and we've seen a handful of them. 49-48, Grand Canyon with the lead and the ball on the left side. Back over here to Blackshire, who inbounded, has it. Left wing three, or two, and that's good. It's a two-point shot. 51-48, Grand Canyon with their largest lead now at three. Sam Houston has not made a field goal in the last 335. They have got to find a basket here. Jaden Ray up top over to Lampley on the left wing. Lamp down low to Savion Flag on the left baseline. He's trapped, double team, finds Javion May down to 10 on the shot clock, back over to Flag. Flag looking up, now squaring here, trying to drive in on the left baseline, puts up a jumper on its way, good and one! Good and one! Oh man, what a shot by Savion Flag! That foul is on Gabe McLaughlin, his third personal. It is the 15th foul by Grand Canyon. And that will take us to a media timeout. An opportunity for Savion Flag to tie the ball game. Bearcats trail 51 to 50. 
7.50 to go. We'll step aside and take a 90 second break from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. The Grove. Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Back out of here live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks for joining us, friends. Rob Pitt, Fed, Sam Houston men's basketball. Trails Grand Canyon, 51 to 50. 7.50 to go on that Miller time game. Collect the Bearcats shooting 43.9% from the field at 18 of 41. They are five of 13 from downtown at 38% and nine of 12 from the charity stripe. On the flip side for Grand Canyon with the one point advantage, they are shooting 20 of 41 at 48% tonight. The three point shot has been the dagger so far for Sam Houston where Grand Canyon is 8 of 16. It's the Grand Canyon team that last night shot 34% in their 70 to 53 victory versus Dixie State. They were only 9 of 32 from three-point land and 11 of 18 from the free throw line. They're doing a much better job here. Savion flag, an end one opportunity on the right side to tie the ball game. He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw, no good. Boy, another one of those shots that just cradled in and popped right back out. So Grand Canyon will hold on to the advantage here by one. 7.43 to go, 51 to 50. They've got it on the left side. It's into the hands of McMillan, guarded by Lampley. Chest pass goes to Blackshire. Blackshear from the free throw line. He'll find Woods. Woods goes with the pass over to the right wing to Blackshear. He'll retreat way out there, down to nine on the shot clock, trying to drive in on Jaden Ray. Blocked by Ipe with six on the shot clock. Tristan Ipe swatted that one out of the house. And with six on the clock here, Blackshaw will inbound in his own right baseline under his rim. Trying to go up here to Woods, and a foul here, JV on May. He was reaching in too much. Man, you can't do that. JV on May with his third person. It's only the fourth team foul, but that will reset the shot clock. That's the bad thing about that foul. You go from six seconds, you add 14, now it's back to 20. And Grand Canyon, not as much pressure to take a quick shot here. They can work the offense. Chance McMillan inbounding on his own right baseline in his purple shoes all the way up top over to Woods. Woods working around the high screen from Woodrow ago. He'll pass over to Woodrow ago down in the circle. Ipe on him, trying to put up a shot, left-handed good. 53-50, Bearcats trailing here. Grand Canyon with their largest lead of three. 7.06 to go in the game. Jaden Ray on the right side on the left wing. Ray flings this one over to Savion Flag. Flag just inside, takes a jumper, left wing, no good. Rebound by Holland Woods. Woods on the far side. They can make it a two possession game with the basket here. Woods steps back, offensive foul. Jaden Ray took it. Holland Woods. A little too aggressive there, his second personal, 16 foul. It's one thing Grand Canyon's got to start being concerned about. One more foul. On the defensive side by Grand Canyon will put Sam Houston in the bonus. Bearcats can tie it with the three here. Jaden Ray will bring it from left to right. On the near side he is to the right wing, guarded by Blackshire, right-handed dribble. Crossing back over to his left hand up top, Savion flag, passed up a three, now takes a three. This one no good, Ipe trying to get the rebound, he can't get it. Dropped off into the hands of McLaughlin, and here comes Grand Canyon's Blackshire on the left wing. 
Quickly back to the left side, working a right-handed dribble, guarded by Jaden Ray. We go down here to McMillan. McMillan from the left elbow. Pass back over to Blackshire. Blackshire inside, right baseline jumper, too short. A rebound to Ipe, up front to Savion Flag. Two on one. Lampley, left wing three, on its way. Yes! To Marcus Lampley from downtown! Lampley has tied it at 53 apiece with 6.03 to go. Big shot there for DeMarcus Lampley. Bearcats needed it. McMillan has it. Quick pass goes over to Woods. Woods, that's got to be an offensive foul. Oh, man, they're going to call it on Javion May. Maybe it's because he wasn't set down there and he pushed off. And Boy, tough break there for Sam Houston. Javion May may have been inside the circle. That's why he didn't get the benefit of that call. He's shrugging his shoulders at the official. And May, unfortunately, with his fourth team or his fourth personal foul that is the fifth team foul by Sam Houston so JV on May will head back over to the bench Dante Powers checking in for him we're tied 53 apiece 552 to go on the Miller time game clock Blackshaw will inbound here for Grand Canyon up top, the pass goes to McLaughlin, guarded by Ipe. One left-handed dribble, swings a pass from the left hip, up top over to McMillan, down to McLaughlin, fighting off defenders. That one way before the shot, and it's on Dante Powers. So Dante Powers, his second personal, and the 16 foul. So one more by the Bearcats will put Grand Canyon in the bonus. 53-53, 5.44 to go. It is very tense here in the arena. Inbound pass over to Cherry, up top McLaughlin around to the right wing. He'll find Woods, now at the top of the three, guarded by Powers. Back to Cherry here, now the left wing pass goes down to Blackshirt. Down to nine on the shot clock, guarded by Flag, moves around him, throws the one high up, and it's behind the backboard. Man, I don't know if I've ever seen a shot go up behind the backboard. And that was all thanks to the pressure bought, brought there by the Texas A&M graduate transfer, Savion Flag. Sam Houston can try to find some separation here. And we're going to have a timeout here called by Sam Houston. And I'm not sure if we'll stretch it to a media. It's only going to be a 30-second. We'll step aside with them. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Welcome back, friends, to Orleans Arena. Bearcats hot here in the second half, shooting 9 of 15 at 60%. They are 3 of 6 from downtown. But a lot more shots have went up by Grand Canyon. They are 10 of 23 at 43%. They have cooled off from downtown, 3 of 9 here in the second half. We're tied, 53 apiece. Bearcats inbounding. Jaden Ray has it here for Sam Houston on the right side. Chest pass goes. Savion flag, straightaway 3. This one rimmed in and out. My goodness, it was a good look. That's just been the kind of night it's turned into. Here's a three back the other way. This one no good for Woods. Rebound Dante Powers. So Sam Houston again with an opportunity to regain the lead. Jaden Ray will waltz his way into the front court from left to right. Five minutes straight up to go. It's winner go home for one of these teams here tonight. Jaden Ray fires one over to Dante Powers down to Ipe. Ipe battling here, McLaughlin. Working inside the circle, back over Dante Powers. Shakes a defender, picks up his dribble, finds Ray, corner three, no. That one was halfway down and popped out. Man, unbelievable. Here comes Grand Canyon from right to left. Blackshire has it at the top of the three. McLaughlin on that left wing. Something's gotta give here for one of these teams. Over to McMillan, long three, right wing. That shot, no good. Ray has the rebound. Quickly up to DeMarcus Lampley on the right wing. He'll slow things up, goes back to his point guard, Jaden Ray, standing on the Hercules Tires logo, way out there on the right wing, now rotates near center court. Working a dribble here from his left and right hand, running down some clock. 4.09 to go, we're tied 53 apiece. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Savion Flag finds. Jaden Ray, Ray at the top. He's got to look up, down to five. Ray trying to bounce it to Ipe. Ipe left side, he's fouled. Shot won't go, but two free throws coming up for Sam Houston's Tristan Ipe. 
Let's see that foul is called here. It's going to be on Holland Woods. That is his third personal. 17 foul, but two free throws coming up for Tristan Ipe. That will take us to a media timeout. We'll take a 90-second break from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life is Deserves to be celebrated. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you're looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, one dollar will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Welcome back, friends, live from Las Vegas, Nevada, here in Orleans Arena. It is 53 to 53. This is what March Madness is all about. A close one here. Sam Houston's Tristan Epe to shoot free throws as we come out of the media timeout. Epe stepping back onto the court here on the right side. Sam Houston, 9 of 13 from the free throw line. Tristan Epe with six points. He's a perfect two for two from the charity stripe in 25 minutes tonight. Flag has 18 points. Lampley, the senior, with 17 points. And here's Epe with a chance to take the lead. First one on the way. Yes! Bearcats by one. 54-53. Sam Houston back with it. With that advantage. They've led by as many as 10 back in the first. Here's the second one, good as well. How about that for Tristan Ipe? He has been so clutch here down the stretch in the last few games of the regular season and now here in the tournament, he has really turned that free throw shooting around. It's 55-53, here's a three for the Lopes. That one no good, but the putback somehow is good. Man, by Chance McMillan as he had to stretch and extend and put it up off the left side. We're tied 55 apiece, 3.38 to go. Sam Houston with it on the right side. It is Jaden Ray at the top of the three. Finds Epe on the left wing, bounce down to Savion Flag. Flag trying to size up the situation here. Takes a jumper, it's on its way, way over the rim. Boy, that's a very long miss for Savion. That doesn't happen often. It's gonna get the Grand Canyon fans fired up around here. 55 tied up. Grand Canyon has it here on the left side. 3.12 to go in the middle of time. Game clock, Woods at the top. Little shake and bake move off the left side and one. Savion Flag reached in on him. So Savion picks up his first personal 17 foul. That's a critical one because it's an and one coming up here. Sometimes I call those the breath mint fouls, a little tic-tac down there. And that will send Grand Canyon to the line here to extend it to a three-point advantage with 3.08 remaining. Holland Woods, the free throw shooter, the senior guard, a 79% free throw shooter. Woods, his first time at the line here tonight, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, and one is no good. It's and none. Two-point Grand Canyon lead, and it remains close as Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court from left to right. Ray, way out there on the left wing, finds Epe up top. Epe waiting on his teammates, back to Ray on the left wing. Epe trying to set the screen. Ray working around it on the left baseline. He's trapped, throws it out of bounds. Good play down there as he threw it right off the hip of Gabe McLaughlin. You have to think so fast on those plays, and that just shows you the high IQ of Jaden Ray. 
Six seconds on the shot clock low. Over to Flag. Left wing three. This one no good. And May not able to haul down the rebound. It goes over to Woods. 2.33 to go. Grand Canyon up front, 57-55. They've got the ball on the left side. Bearcats have got to get a defensive stop here and work something on the offense. Pass goes over to Woodrow go. Hand off here to McMillan. McMillan trying to work from the top of the three, crossing back over to the right wing, guarded by Demarcus Lampley. Woods calling for it. Now he's the recipient of the pass. Down to 218, nine on the shot clock here. Woods trying to direct offense. JV on May in front of him. He'll take a long three. It's on its way. It is good. 60 to 55, largest lead for Grand Canyon. Bearcats are in trouble. They have not made a basket from the field in four minutes. Jaden Ray on the right wing. They can do it though. Here comes Ray off the right side of the glass and one. Jaden Ray, Rocket Man, finds the lane and an and one opportunity here. That foul is on Javon Blackshear Jr. It's his first personal, the eighth team foul. And Jaden Ray, the best free throw shooter on the team, at 81% at the line here for the Bearcats. Trailing 60 to 57, 155 to go. Here's the and one. It is and yes, makes it. It's a two point Grand Canyon advantage. The fourth seeded Lopes, the fifth seeded Bearcats. 150 to go. Blackshear has it on the left side. Left wing, pass goes over to Woods. Woods down near that right corner trying to draw a foul. Boy, he just leaned right in. Those are the fouls that you hate to see. And the ones that you always wish that there would be a rule that would be changed because he leaned right into JV on May. May was just standing there. Coach Hooten not happy about that call either. That is one of the most atrocious calls in basketball and one that I hope one day will be fixed especially in these type of games. We'll step aside and take a break. We'll be back in 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Welcome back, friends. The we are reviewing. We don't have any indication yet. I was just talking my colleagues here to the left and I think they were looking down there to see what kind of foul maybe it was a flagrant but obviously not so two free throws the foul they called that foul on man who did they call that on they said Dante Powers I guess he was just checking in actually so Powers checking in the foul was on JV on May and that's tough because for May, uh, he is now fouled out of the ball game. Dante Powers coming in for him. And two free throws coming up here for Holland Woods. Woods, his team leading 60 to 58, 143 to go. He'll bend his knees here, first one on the way. It is no good, no good. Sixty to fifty-eight. Grand Canyon holding on to a two-point advantage. One forty-three to go. Woods missed the first one. Here's the second one. It's on his way from the right hand. It is good. That one bounced on the rim twice and dropped in. Three-point advantage. Grand Canyon. Sam Houston trying to hold their composure. As Ray will bring it in the front court. Flag is out there. Epe. Demarcus Lampley. And Tristan Epe and Dante Powers. Here's Jaden Ray. The top of the three, trying to work inside. Retreats down to the left wing, up top over to Savion Flag, back to Ray. Ray from the paint, no look to Dante Powers for three. Yes, and one. Oh, mama, what a play, and what a shot by Dante Powers. We are tied at 61 with 120 to go. And Dante Powers with an and one opportunity to give the Bearcats a one point lead. That foul was on McMillan. His first personal, the ninth team foul. Dante Powers, the biggest free throw of his career as a Bearcat right now. The junior guard, a 71% free throw shooter. 
who is two for two tonight. Here it is, it's on its way, it is good! And the Bearcats have the lead! 62, 61, 120 to go. Blackshear will bring it into the front court from right to left. Jamon Grant, the freshman, back in there, guarding him on the right wing. Bounce pass goes up top here to Woods. Woods trying to work inside, spin around, turn around jumper. No, yeah, it's good. It's a good shot. For a moment, it looked like it was going to pop out. Back and forth we go. Grand Canyon with the one-point advantage. Jaden Ray will run over to the sideline and call a timeout. We'll take it with them for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. 58.9 seconds to go. Grand Canyon with a one-point advantage, 63 to 62 over the Bearcats. This is the Western Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament, and it's coming down to the wire. One of these teams, season will end tonight. Dante Powers set to inbound here for Sam Houston. Lopes fans who are here in droves on their feet, everyone on their feet tonight. Bearcat fans that are here as well. Dante Powers inbounding over to Jaden Ray. Ray has it. 55 seconds ago, 20 on the shot clock to the left wing. Ray working off the high screen from Flag. He'll find Lampley. Lampley on that right wing now. Passes back over to Ipe. Ipe working one on one. He'll go inside. Trying to go on the baseline, up top to Powers. Powers down to five on the shot clock. He'll find Flag for three. Left wing. This one no good. Rebound, oh man, it goes out of bounds off Sam Houston to Grand Canyon. There's a five second differential on the shot clock and the game clock. And Javon Grant will come back into the ball game here. Trying to see who that was that went over to the bench there. Javon Grant in for DeMarcus Lampley. The Bearcats here will need another defensive stop. One point advantage for the Lopes, 63. 62, 35 seconds remaining. On that Miller time game clock, inbounding here is Tayshawn Cherry. I believe the Bearcats are gonna do it, friends. Over to Woods, up front to Blackshire. Blackshire here from right to left. Savion Flag, reach and foul. That's his second personal. Eighth team foul, one and one coming up here for Grand Canyon. Blackshire a 73% free throw shooter. He'll have him here on the left side. Not sure if that's what Savion wanted to do. He was just trying to poke it away. Blackshire looking for his double digits. He has nine points in this game. First time at the charity stripe here tonight. Here on the left side, 63-62, 27 seconds to go. The game clock is, or the shot clock is now off. On the front end, it is good. Two-point Grand Canyon advantage, 64 to 62. One more free throw coming up here for Blackshirt. Sam Houston does have one timeout remaining. Grand Canyon has two. Here's the next free throw, good as well. Three-point game, 65-62, 27 seconds to go. We'll see if Sam Houston elects to use their timeout or if they just play it. Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court and he will quickly take a timeout with 24.3 to go. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. Final opportunity here for Sam Houston coming up, trailing 65 to 62 with 24 seconds to go. We'll be back in 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. 24.3 on the Miller Time game clock back here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Grand Canyon leading the Bearcats here in the second round of the Western Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament, 65 to 62. Bearcats need a three to tie this ball game and a chance to send it to overtime. Dante Powers will inbound. Tristan Epe is out there on the court. Jaden Ray, DeMarcus, light him up Lampley and Savion Flag. Powers inbounding over to Flag. Flag trying to work inside. He may try to take a quick two off the left side. Good. 19 seconds to go. He makes it. The Bearcats will have to foul right away here. The inbound goes over here to Woods. They've got a foul, and Savion Flag does foul him. And I love the sportsmanship from Savion Flag. He fouled Woods. Woods fell down pretty hard, and Savion was the first one there to help Woods up. That's the kind of player he is, an outstanding young man, and why he goes by the nickname of Humble on social media. So it's 17.2 to go. Savion Flag will pick up his third personal. It's the ninth team foul, so one and one here for Grand Canyon. Sam Houston has no timeouts remaining. And I guess actually that was the 10th team foul, so two shots here. I did not see that. So two shots coming up here. First one on the way by Woods, it is good. We'll have one more. There's a good foul down there after and a good play by Savion Flagg. He had a good look down there for two. Jaden Ray will have a quick discussion with head coach Jason Hooten. Woods, one more free throw to make it a three-point game with 17.2 to go. Grand Canyon with two timeouts, Sam Houston has none. Here's the next free throw. On its way, it is good. It is a three-point game. And here's the last opportunity for the Bearcats in their season. Fans are on their feet. Jaden Ray has it here. To the right wing, launches a three. No good. Rebound, Grand Canyon. An immediate foul with 7.4 to go. It was a good look by Jaden Ray. The foul was on Tristan Epe, his fourth personal. Grand Canyon already in the double bonus. They'll shoot two with 7.4 to go, already with a three-point advantage. Now it's up to Blackshirt Jr. Two of his most critical free throws. First one on the way is good. Two possession game. Chance McMillan all smiles. He knows how important that free throw was. One more coming up on its way. This one good as well. And that may have been the dagger for the Bearcats. I truthfully believe that Sam Houston was going to go down there and hit a three. They have been on the short end of the stick all season long in a lot of these close games. And Jaden Ray had a wide open look, nothing on him. He had a good shot. It just would not fall for Ray for a chance to tie this game. There is still 7.4 to go. Grand Canyon called their second to last timeout. That will give Sam Houston a little bit of a break here to draw up a quick game plan. They will have to quickly shoot a three. But time is not on their side. And they're going to have to inbound this one all the way across court. They cannot advance the ball. That makes things even more difficult. Grand Canyon will send four up front here. Only one in the backcourt. Dante Powers to inbound. 69-64, Powers looking, finds Ray. He's going to have to quickly advance it. Over to Savion Flag for three. This one's no good, and that'll be the ball game. Putback was good down there by Tristan Epe with .4 to go, but that is the ball game. Well, they're going to say there's .4. Grand Canyon calls a timeout here. I'll never say never, but point four. I mean, I would wonder if they're going to go look at this on the clock just to make sure that there's not any more time. Tristan Ipe had the put back on the missed three by Savion Flag, And there could be a miracle, though, friends. With point four, the Bearcats 
Uh, the odds are highly against them, but if they could somehow get a quick inbound steal and throw it up. The officials are going to review this to make sure I believe that the time is correct. Any time added here would be very critical. 69-66.4 seconds to go. Could this be the March miracle the Bearcats get? Again, I want to thank everybody for joining us here this season. Still is one final opportunity here. I think they're going to leave point four, and so with that, I don't believe that's going to be much time to do anything. So much leadership on this team. Savion Flag came in this year. Texas A&M graduate transfer scored in double digits in all but one game that he played in as a Bearcat. In my opinion, the top player in the Western Athletic Conference. Not just what he does on the court, but what he does off the court. Demarcus Lampley got an extra year of play. One of the highlights, if you can think of a highlight during COVID, was Demarcus Lampley getting one more opportunity, one more year. Here's the inbound on its way. And a quick foul here, Javon Grant. And man, why they just got to let this game go now. I mean, they're going to call the foul on Javon Grant with point one. This game is all but over. They should just let it go. And unfortunately for the Sam Houston Bearcats, their season will come to an end here tonight in the second round of the playoffs against the four seed Grand Canyon Lopes. A hard fought battle tonight by Sam Houston. Shooting 42% of the game. Only 32% from downtown. That three point shooting was the final straw for Grand Canyon tonight. Grand Canyon turned it over 14 times tonight as well. But Sam Houston just could not contain the three point shooting by the Lopes. The officials are still, I mean, come on, guys. Point one to go. We know that where this game is headed. I understand they got to get things technically correct, but I mean, this just delays the inevitable. We'll take a 30 second break. Probably have a free throws coming up when we come back. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. First free throw by Woods was good, 70 to 66. One more on the way. He'll bend his knees, this one on its way, and it is good as well. Grand Canyon just able to hold on down the stretch. Dante Powers will inbound for one final time this season. Over to Savion Flag. The inbound is stolen by Cherry, and that will do it. But a heck of a season for your Bearcats. They were projected to finish seventh. They overcame those odds and finished fifth. They knocked off some top teams such as New Mexico State. They beat Grand Canyon once. They beat Stephen F. Austin. But their season and journey will come to an end here tonight. We'll talk about the seniors, how much they've meant to this program. When we come back, hold your heads high, Bearcats. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grill to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. 
for any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. Post game here on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network in the second round. Your Sam Houston men's basketball team falls short. A tough effort against a very tough and competitive Grand Canyon Lopes team. The Lopes will move on to the third round. Victorious 71 to 66 here tonight. A lot of that coming down the stretch, and I believe we'll have a post-game conference coming up here in just a little bit, and we'll try to get to that if we can stay on the air and just have some last words this season. Uh, and hear from head coach Jason Hooten if they go first. If they do not go first, uh, we won't be able to carry that for you due to time constraints back on the flagship. Uh, but again, a tough season, or a great season for Sam Houston, just a tough loss here tonight in Las Vegas, again, as the Bearcats season comes to a close. The final team stats here as we'll go over those uh, very briefly here for Sam Houston as they wrap up in this loss tonight. They shot 42%, 23 of 55 from the field, 7 of 22 at 32% from downtown. That was really the dagger here in this ball game because Grand Canyon was 9 of 20. Sam Houston doing a great job at the free throw line tonight, 13 of 17 at 76%. They only turned it over eight times. They scored 11 points off of 14 Grand Canyon turnovers. The Bearcats, though, they were out, rebounded 38 to 24, 20, uh, 17 on the defensive side, seven offensive boards. Bearcats had 10 second chance points, six off the bench, 28 points tonight uh, by Sam Houston down in the paint. They had nine fast break points, six blocks, six steals, and eight assists. This ball game was tied 11 times for nine minutes and eight seconds. There was nine lead changes. The Bearcats led most of this ball game, 21 minutes and 20 seconds. For Grand Canyon, they shot 48%, very hot in the first half. They cooled down, though, in the second half, ending up 25 of 52. Again, 48% from the field, 9 of 20 from three-point land at 45%. Sam Houston was 12 of 16, or beg your pardon, Grand Canyon was 12 of 16 from the free throw line at 75%. The Lopes had 14 turnovers, 10 points off of eight Bearcat turnovers. Again, Grand Canyon out rebounding Sam Houston 38 to 24. 29 of those were defensive rebounds, nine offensive rebounds. The Lopes had 13 second chance points, 20 off the bench, 30 in the paint, seven fast break points, one block, four steals, and nine assists. Uh, I believe the press conference should be coming up in a few moments. We'll go ahead and take a two minute break. We'll try to get that to you after that if we can. Stay with us, friends. Post game continues from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She has been your good neighbor agent for 35 years after all. But did you know that State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, that's right. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Requirements. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. 
Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, one dollar will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Back out of friends post game here live from Las Vegas, Nevada, as your San Houston men's basketball team falls tonight to Grand Canyon here in this ball game, 71 to 66. We'll quickly look at some of the individual stats here for Grand Canyon. They finished with three and double digits. The hot hand tonight was Woods finishing eight of 15 from the field in 32 minutes. He had 24 points. Also, Blackshirt Jr. four of 14 from the field only, but he finished with 13 points on one of two from three, and also a perfect four of four from the charity stripe in 37 minutes. Again, he had 13 points. McMillan was four for six from the field, three of four from downtown. That was a big difference maker for him tonight. Two rebounds, or three rebounds, two assists, and only one foul in 21 minutes. McMillan had four points. McLaughlin finished with six, and then uh, Woodrogo had four. Miller Moore had four. Yehan had four, and Cherry had four. For your Sam Houston Bearcats, three players in double digits tonight. Just tough down the stretch, not able to get it done. Savion Flagg, what a tremendous blessing he was to this Bearcat team this season as he came over from Texas A&M, provided a spark uh, there for the Bearcats and also a vocal leader alongside Javion May. Savion Flagg was 9 of 23, 1 of 9 only, though, from downtown. He was 1 of 3 from the charity stripe. He had five rebounds, four assists, three fouls, no turnovers in 38 minutes. Savion Flagg had 20 points. DeMarcus light him up Lampley, five of nine from the field, four of five from three-point land. A perfect three of three from the charity stripe in 34 minutes. DeMarcus Lampley had 17. Tristan Ipe finished the ball game, three of seven from the field, 0 of one from downtown, four of four from the free throw line. He had five boards, four fouls, one turnover in 29 minutes. Tristan Ipe with 10 points. Jaden Ray, we call him Rocket Man for a reason. He came in here, has made a big impact as a junior. He was four of six from the field, 0 of two from downtown, one of one on the end, one opportunity from the charity stripe. He had four boards, three assists, two fouls, three turnovers in 28 minutes. Again, Jaden Ray had nine points in this ball game. Other Bearcats getting on the board tonight. There's only two other ones outside of that. Dante Powers had six points on one of three shooting in 15 minutes. And JV on May, one of two, he had four points. He fouled out of the ball game. And 28 minutes of play. Also getting some time on the court, but not scoring. Javon Grant, uh, surprisingly, he had a, a really good outing with 12 points against California Baptist, tying his career high last night. Tonight, though, in 15 minutes, he was 0 of 3, 0 of 2 from downtown. He had no points in this ball game. Jaron Cook played only two minutes. He did not score. And then Kuba Kowalski in 11 minutes did not score as well, but he did have two rebounds uh, there and uh, also a block. I don't see where that was credited to him, though. We'll go ahead and step aside. We'll take one final uh, break here, and we'll come back and wrap this one up again from Las Vegas and from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Final segment here. I don't believe we're going to get to Sam Houston's pressure because Grand Canyon is going first, but I did want to take this opportunity. Let's go now to Bryce Drew, the winning coach for Grand Canyon, and hear from him and their victory over Sam Houston here tonight. How spectacular he was down the stretch for us. And, um, you know, really proud of just their, their competitiveness and how they found ways to be able to score and impact the game. Right here, and then we'll go in the back. This question is for Chance. Chance last year in the semifinal was a breakthrough for you uh, against Seattle. This this time around, um, you shot through the three for four for three. Is there just something about being in the last tournament or in the arena that oh. you just have a bunch of comfortability with? Oh, uh, yes, it is. I feel like since we're coming into the last tournament, I need to step my game up. And I did that last year, and I'm going to continue to do that this year. So I'm just going to keep building on that. Go ahead and talk to you, uh, the uh, the help you have from the bench with like what twenty points and how that and how fun things around it at different points of the game. You know, the last uh, four games have gone to a nine man rotation, and um, Chance has been you know terrific in this, this final stretch of games. 
Um, you know, Aiden has come in and given us some interior scoring, which has been, you know, really big for us. Walter Ellis really stretches the floor and Tayshawn gets a lot of energy. So um, our bench is a really big part. Uh, that run that we made to get back in the game in the first half, um, you know, I believe. Well, that was uh, winning coach Drew Scott out there. Scott there, and I uh, beg your pardon, Bryce Drew there. I was getting confused with his brother, of course, Scott Drew over at Baylor, but uh, we won't play any more of that. There's uh, really not much you can say on that other than a great job by Grand Canyon tonight, taking care of business, victorious over the Bearcats. Finally, we'll go ahead and honor some of our seniors here tonight. There were three of them for Sam Houston that played as a Bearcat for their last time, making such a huge impact. It's been such a, a privilege and a blessing for me as a broadcaster and then just for our community. For these guys, Savion Flag out of Alvin, Texas, a Texas A&M graduate transfer. We thank him for all of his success and really helping this Bearcat team. Kind of in a transition season when we lost leaders uh, going back, talking about Zach Nuttall and, and losing other players that got into that transfer portal. Uh, just so many changes, but these guys stepping up and making big differences. Bryce Monroe, of course, he was a freshman last year. He was gone. But again, Savion Flag coming in, providing a much needed spark for this team. A big shout out to him and all of his success. We wish him the very best. Also, man, I, you know, I don't, he's a broadcaster, I just call the game. That's my job, right? But I, I will say that one of my favorite players on this team and a young man that I've really enjoyed getting to know and travel with and talking to is DeMarcus Light Him Up Lampley. His mom, April, and his family, wonderful folks. He is the pride of Phoenix City, Alabama. And DeMarcus has left uh, an imprint and a fingerprint on this program that will forever be missed. Again, we wish DeMarcus Lampley the very best as he moves on. We know that all of these young men are headed for an exceptionally bright future. And then, of course, the fan favorite, Kuba Kowalski, the center, the first seven-footer in Sam Houston since the 1980s. He has been a spark for this team as well out of Warsaw, Poland. And uh, we just think the world of him as well. I've, I've really enjoyed uh, getting to know him as well. So again, one final shout out to those seniors, Savion Flagg, Demarcus Lampley, and Kuba Krawowski on successful season here with the Bearcats. Unfortunately though for Sam Houston, their season does fall short tonight in that 71 to 66 loss in Las Vegas in the second round at the hands of Grand Canyon. Bearcats will end the season 19 and 13 overall, 13 and five in the WAC. And we will look ahead to next season. Friends, as always, it's been my privilege to bring you for almost every single Bearcat game this season. Uh, we appreciate Van Wagner for allowing us to call these this season. And Carlos Zimmerman filled in for one game. He's done an exceptional job back at the flagship. This broadcast has been authorized under rights granted by Sam Houston to Van Wagner. The accounts and descriptions of this broadcast may not be retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Van Wagner and Sam Houston Athletics. The executive producers of Sam Houston basketball is Zach Kaditz. The coordinating producer is Desiree Chambers. And a special thanks to the Sam Houston Athletic Communications Office, Jason Barfield, Ben Reichert, and Cody Stark. Studio operations by KSAM, Carlos Zimmerman, back at our flagship tonight helping us and also our halftime host. We appreciate you. And also a big thanks to Coach Bobby Williams, our athletic director, for being on with us at halftime as well. Friends, I'm Rob Hip, reminding you tonight for one final time this season that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there needs you. Good evening and God bless from Las Vegas. We will see you next season. See you, friends. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Hey, y'all, it's Aaron Watson. Need a new vehicle? It may only be a swipe away. Every time you swipe your first financial bank Visa debit card between now and the end of February, you will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a new vehicle of your choice. Swipe often and you will soon be driving up and down that honky tonk highway. For promotion rules and a list of participating dealers, visit ffin.com slash sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, member FDIC. been listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat Sports Network.